again. Okay. Uh, now I just need to make the post on Twitter. Ah! Hmm? God damn it. Every what? time I try to go do the pop-out chat on Twitch, it, like, fucks up. There we go. I got puppy chow to eat with the stream, and then I was like, oh, I shouldn't actually probably eat that on stream because it's really crunchy. Ugh, I'm really full on puppy chow. Try again. So, uh... 15 minute interactive story has you make choices of Mass Effect 1 and allows you to have these choices reflected in Mass Effect 2. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's, um,. That's the Genesis thing I was talking about before. Gotcha. Um, okay, I should. Everything should be linked properly. Yes. Audios, audio should be going through now, because I had it alt tab, so it wasn't playing. Um, audio. Um. Load that one. Probably gonna take people a sec to get in anyway. But for the sake of the VOD, I guess I'll just say, uh, I did get a follow in the time that I wasn't streaming. Um, Millennium Cyborg, thank you for the follow. You're not here right now, but thank you. Um, I think we ended last stream trying to talk to everybody. And everybody, yep. yeah. Although we should probably feed our fish. Yeah, that's what just it, that's in like case. That. I'm super paranoid <laughs> about this now. Um, wait, invite. Oh, we can invite Garrus up. We can. Hang on. Hello. Garrus, come to my office. Oh, hi, oh. Garrus. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my shit! I mean, it's everything I wanted, but also, I didn't realize you could just ring up Karis and be like, <laughs> Hey, you up? <laughs> oh my god. The way he's sitting, though. Yeah, look at, look at this confident-ass motherfucker. Oh my shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll I'll do it again later for viewers, but <laughs> He's so tiny when he's out of armor. Yeah, it's weird. Terrains are kinda scrawny. That's adorable. Oh we ran out of shell space, we had to put the ship on our fucking table. We don't have enough room for all oh, of our guns. This is gonna be like this is gonna be like my gunpla table when I didn't have a shelf yet. It's just gonna be covered in these things. <laughs> Oh, it would be funny if you could get like collectible like figs of like your crewmates because mm -hmm. technically you would be pretty famous. I'm pretty sure if this game, this game specifically, if it was made like three years ago, Funko Pops, absolutely. Oh God, I don't know if I've actually seen Mass Effect Funko Pops. Do they exist? I think they're starting to make them now, actually. <laughs> I'm like terrified and also interested. There was definitely Andromeda ones when that came out. Because that was like peak Funko Pop era. Um, Let's see. Funko Pop. Oh my god, there is a Garrus. Oh, he actually looks pretty cute. Yeah, whenever they be... whenever they have to do non-humans, they <gasps> tend to be okay. Oh my god, Grunt is so cute! <laughs> He's little... <laughs> He's $134. What? No. <laughs> Just get a figma at that point. Oh, he's baby. Look at his little face. I am a little bit excited what with Mass Effect coming back around. I wonder yeah. if Nendroid Nendroids. will be like, yeah. hey, you want us to make like some figmas or like a Nendo? If they made a Garrow Nendo, I would be in so much trouble. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a girl is in telling and oh no. Oh no. I have I just realized oh, I have no oh, idea. No. I have no idea huh? what the Mass Effect 3 experience is going to be like because I when I last played, I I I never like romanced Garrus in Mass Effect 2 and then like carried that over to Mass Effect 3. Like I don't know what the oh, you're really? romancing Garrus in Mass Effect 3 is like at all. I, for one, I'm excited then. He's a good boy. I trust mm -hmm. Garrus. There's I there's one specific scene with him in Mass Effect Three, that like, I have been waiting since the beginning of the Mass Effect One playthrough to show you. Cause it's so fucking good. Oh, well, that's right. Legion's got, like, a fancy gun, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. I gave him his fancy gun. So, okay. You might have noticed there's no Mako segments in this game. Uh-huh. People I were really not that. people were not happy about that. Um, really? They, they, I, I yeah. People liked the Mako segments, not because they were good, but just because it made the universe feel bigger. Um, and so, like, when, when they took it out, a lot of people were like, the universe feels so tiny now, you just go to these small levels. It feels less empty, honestly. The Mako segments just kind of made the world feel, like, devoid of anything meaningful. Yeah. So, to make up for that, they made DLC called Firewalker. And so, they said, you want a vehicle? Well, how about a whole vehicle DLC? Oh boy. And we get this <laughs> slippery fucking little piece of shit that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as much as the Mako. The Mako at least stopped. When you stopped, you stopped. This fucker does not stop. <laughs> this is like playing an ice level in a car. It sucks. Oh boy. Oh lord. Oh yeah, and this shit, which is just hold the right mouse, right mouse button, but it will try to move out of the circle, so you have to keep it in the circle the whole time. Why? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't. How the fuck did I? Okay. They did not give me controller <laughs> controls. What the fuck are you doing? Vacuuming stuff up? Yeah. Basically. Path is now clear. Oh god. Why? Oops, it's fire. And this is like the whole DLC? Basically? What? People miss the Mako? Yeah, people That's miss the Mako. That's me. Like, I wasn't even playing and I could tell how frustrating trying to control the fucking Mako was. <laughs> Honestly, part of me kind of feels like this is like... Never ask for me, uh, ask yeah. me for anything again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do not ask me for shit, said Bioware. If you ask for another vehicle, we're just gonna shoot you into the sun in it. How about that? What the? I hit something. What did you hit? I don't know. Invisible wall, maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> this is bad. Ah, okay, hang oh, on. Oh, the fucking noises, too. Wait until they introduce environmental hazards. Oh no. How long is this mission? Uh, it's like a multi-stage thing. 
It's actually one of the longer DLCs. I'm honestly getting it done now the way now because A, I hate it, and B, we're waiting for people to show up, I guess. True. I don't want to, like, have people sit through this if they don't have to. <laughs> Guess in the meantime, if you want a $134 Grunt Funko Pop on Amazon, there is only one left, so rush, rush, rush. I wonder when they released those, honestly. Because Funko Pop wasn't a thing when this came out, right? No. No, this was 2010. Oh, no. And I don't think it was a thing when Mass Effect 3 came out, either. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Mass Effect 3 was 2012. I was in Full Sail at the time. Oh, God. We were so young, then. I remember, because so it had, like, just came out, and I was, like, so hyped about it. And, like, one of the teachers was like, is anybody playing it? I was like, me. I'm playing it. Oh, God, somebody raided. Hello. Um. Hello. Ellen Sierra, thank you so much for the raid of 14 people. Holy Man, shit. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we're doing we're doing the Firewalker <laughs> DLC because we're, we're just doing it. Don't ask me questions. It's my stream. Um, we're getting it out of the way early yeah. so that we can do fun things later. Yeah. Because <laughs> we got Overlord DLC... Uh, I think we got a few side quests that I didn't finish, and then let's take a look at the map. We're here. We're on the map. Um, <clears throat> is there is a rich planet? I don't know what that is. Aww. That's like side Thank quest. You know, uh, oh, oh, someone, hang on. Oh, Tiefling Ellie raid. I can catch you streaming on time. I'm. <laughs> I can raid you and I can't. Thank you so much. I super appreciate it. Hobbit Launcher, thank you for the follow. I like your name. It's funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's side. That's side stuff. Shadow Burger Base we did last time. Uh, yep. That's side content stuff. I was going to say there's a bunch of planets, but we honestly don't even need them because we are loaded right yeah, there's now. Like, there's like three Firewalk things. I think it's just these three and then we're done with it, I think. Save crashing ship? Huh? Was that the Shadow Broker stuff? Uh, I, no, I, I think this is side here. content. Huh. I wish I could see it, but the giant Omega Nebula sign is in front of it. <laughs> That's a lot of shit in Omega that they want you to let's, do Let's right go now. deal with that. Let's go deal with that, like, right now, because it's annoying the shit out of me. How's my day going? Uh, my day is okay. I went to work this morning, and then I came home tired, and then I played PSO2... And now I'm streaming, and that's kind of my life. Um... I mean, especially with, like, pandemic stuff going yeah. on. That's doing alright. We're gonna get all this content done. My plan? Today? Hopefully. Um... Some of the DLC is a little lengthy, but like, I don't have work tomorrow morning, and I mean we'll go Ooh, we'll go until either you get too tired or we beat it. That's the plan. Okay. I hopefully I'm I won't get too tired too quickly. Honestly, if worst comes to worst, I'll just inject Coca Cola into my bloodstream. Mm. You should you should drink a monster. I did have a more Mountain Dew, but I, like, drank the last one on Sunday, so we're just gonna have to make do with what we have on hand. Mm. I don't drink Monster that often. Like, I only really drink it when I feel like I need to be up. And, like, because I don't drink it that frequently, every single time I drink it feels like a punch in my throat of, like, <laughs> energy. Honestly, when I was trying to wean myself off of caffeine, I found that drinking Coca-Cola would, like, <laughs> make my heart race so bad, uh, I would get, like, anxiety. Tyrone Hollings? Yeah. The Rawlings. Some, some stuff oh. going on. Who cares? It's Eclipse. They're... They're nothing. They're a bunch of nobodies at this point. <laughs> you hear that? You're mediocre. You're mediocre. I never could find that voice clip again. I wish I knew what episode it was. 
I should straight up just ask Chip Cheese them. Just like ping them on fucking Twitter. I wonder Twitter. if he even remembers. Probably not. That was like three Metal Gear Solids ago. <laughs> that was three Metal Gear Solid playthroughs ago. Oh shit, I can't kill. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> yeah, because he did that and then he did Revengeance and then. Could you not? Okay. I'm not paying attention. Hi, White. Hello, White. Because <clears throat> he did that and then he did Revengeance and then he did five and then now he's done. I'm kind of, I guess, not necessarily surprised, but I am a little bit surprised that even in Endgame, Mass Effect still has the nerve to potentially kill you if you're not paying attention. It's it's because this like this was like peak, like I can't actually now that I think about it, this was a year before Skyrim came out. Can you believe that a world before Skyrim? Really? Yeah. I'm going. It looks so much better than Skyrim. Well, yeah, it's not hard to do that. <laughs> You have to mod Skyrim for like a whole day to make it playable. Um, but yeah, no, this this game scales, so you can never out level anything. I mean, probably a pretty good way to handle it, especially considering you can do some of the missions like in different orders. Mm -hmm. the also, other guy? White oh. asked, how is everyone tonight? Uh, I'm alright. I'm doing okay. I had a therapy session earlier, and then I had, like, the most absolutely painful headache imaginable, because I think oh. I cried a little too hard. Doing okay now, though. I like how Shepard is just... At this point, just so nonplussed by anything anymore. Like, she just walked into a room. Oh my god. Uh, Neko Girl 363 thank you so much for the follow. She just walks up into a whole room that's just, like, covered in blood and bodies. And she's just like, yep, same shit, different day. Uh, I mean, at this point. What would you do if you found 300 pounds of pure gold coins under your bed in real life? Um, I guess I would find someone to... to I don't know the word. I think it begins with an A. Appraise? Appraise, yes. It's a skill in Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. <laughs> um, yeah, someone. I would get someone to appraise it and then sell it. Because, holy shit, do I need money. That's a lot of gold coins. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. Honestly, I would be surprised that, like, the floor, like, the, um, foundation of my house didn't, like, fall apart or something. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, actually, hang on. 300 gold coins is a lot of gold. Oh, well, I 300 guess... pounds at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, 300 pounds. Holy shit, yeah. That's a lot of gold. Like, I was, I was mentally seeing as, like, 300 coins. That would be plenty, but 300 pounds of gold coins, that's almost too much. Yeah, 300 pounds of gold coins is a lot more coins than that. I feel like at that point I just walk down the street and be like, you have gold now, and you have gold now. Yeah, really. I mean, depending on how much money you got me by the end of it all, like... Like, I don't know, it, it depends. Like, if it was a shit ton of money, if we're talking, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars, then yeah, I would probably send some to, like, people I care about. Because I don't need that much money. Actually, I would probably try and buy the place that I live at so I never have to move again and I don't have to pay mortgage. Just, like, fully own it for myself. Oh, that would be nice. Just buy, it from, buy it from my owning landlord. Owning a house. Yeah, really. <laughs> the dream. Sand bar is 27 kilograms. Really? That's way less than I would have suspected. Yeah. But still heavy as shit. I would not want to handle gold bars in any capacity for a number of reasons. But them being that heavy would also not be great. Three, three, one. 
I don't know what this is. This is more like side content I did not do. Because <laughs> this all comes from the Shadow Broker thing, and I think the last time I played this, I did not activate these. Uh, what if you woke up in real life and you get a physical copy of Mass Effect 6? Mass Effect 6? What happened to 4 and 5? Mass Effect 6 is the search for 4 and 5. <laughs> yeah. They pulled they pull a George Lucas and they're gonna release no, it. No, they later. do it like backwards. Yeah. Just imagining Shepard now saying like I hate sand, it's coarse. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. I hate a coos. Everyone keeps reminding me of it. God, I do really hate the whole coos thing. Please recount your trauma. Oh, uh, B2J1, thank you so much for the follow. Oh my god, everybody's following me today. Thank you. <laughs> following you for research purposes, for science, by all means. <laughs> as long as it's ethical science. Yeah. Shockwave. I want out. I want out. Oh god. Thank you. Uh, I was gonna say, if I could think of a spaceball line to relate to Mass Effect, I would say was like Shepard waking up in service and being like, I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> Uh, so many people. I'm not used to this large a crowd. I don't usually get this many people. Uh, <laughs> we'll bully you with kindness. Well, thank you. I need kindness in my I life. Still here. 232 centimeters tall. That is, that is pretty tall, right? Uh, I think, I'm gonna do... I think like 183 no is six feet. <laughs> 183 is like six feet, right? I think so. Hang on. 91 inches. What is that in feet? Seven foot six. Wow. Holy That's shit. really high. Oh my god. <laughs> really Are you Shaquille O'Neal? That should do it. Honestly, at that height, all you just need is somebody with like a really mean coffee table to like position it at the right height <laughs> like at the right place because lord knows i've been fucked up by coffee tables and i'm almost six foot <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> what the heck I'm going in. not shack i am serious I need to lean down whenever I go through doors. Oh my god. I've never, like, actually met someone that big in real life. Damn, what happened here? Ugh. Hi! Oh, uh, uh. What are you guys doing? I don't like this. I hope you weren't eating these people. Who else do we have with us? Legion? We have Legion and Garrus, yeah. Uh, I was kind of like, uh, does any uh, the other teammate have anything to say? And Legion's probably like, oh, this seems entirely normal. S standard, I don't know organic standard, well. <laughs> standard human practices. They die from drinking gamer girl water. Ugh. Uh, don't drink the bath water. Especially not in space future. That stuff is definitely radioactive. I'm still a little fucked up that like the gamer girl bath water did not actually have any. You wouldn't be an A in it. Oh, I can hit the M button and that What the hell? This is like the first time ever I've noticed this. Oh? You can hit the M button and it gives you like a little objective arrow for like half a second. Oh that's handy. Oh, I see it now. I was wondering what that noise was. Yeah. Taking cover. I'm kinda of surprised that's not on like all the time. I mean, I kind of don't mind it not being on all the time because 
I, I don't know if it's just a me problem, but I find that sometimes in games with large enough, like, areas, I will stop looking at the area to focus entirely on the map, mm -hmm. and I end up missing a lot of shit that way. Uh, Tiefling, I like your virtual avatar. It's cool. Thank you. I made it myself with help from White Dragon, who's, I think, still in the chat. Do it. Oh, did they even say searching for entrance? For a minute I thought they said searching for infants, and I'm like, their children are not going to be here, I hope. Uh. <laughs> I'm so glad they kept the rag going. Is that guy In there. I like how sometimes the yelling like does not match up with what's actually going on. Like you'll just knock a guy down and he'll start doing the whole like oh, yelling and it's so fucking funny. Oh god, you know I mentioned it before, but I, now I'm like curious again about what a speed run for this game would look like. Oh god, yeah, I've never seen anyone speed run this game. Or any of the games. Have I played Andromeda? Yes, I have. Um, my overall opinion of it is... I give it a 5.5 out of 10, which is not as bad as it sounds. Because to me, like, a 5 is average. Um, all the good shit is in the character moments, and the main plot is really boring. It's also very clearly unfinished. It needs some spit spine for sure. And like, do you need help, sir? You're just kind of looking. I'll take the shot. <laughs> I was gonna say this one Turian is having a heck of a time. This guy's out getting. What I'm just to do. I'm just bullying the shit out of this guy. <laughs> is he the last one? Yeah, he is. Um. Skipper of the Strontium Mall. Sun's trap. She escaped. If you find the cancer card, you look through its contents. Okay, what's in the thing? What's in the thing? What thing? I didn't find hmm. thing. Hang on, something is. Huh? Are, why are, are we still Dog. Like that? Oh. Hang on. Uh can't take credit for all you do everything I just offered guys it's just I mean you were still very helpful I genuinely would never have even started streaming if you didn't just throw the fucking tools at me because I didn't know Vroid was like a thing like at all I was actually going to start trying to do live 2d and I was kind of dreading it wait that dog was running backwards the AI in this ship in particular are having some issues Uh, I had the opportunity to make a game set in space. Yes. I don't know what I would do with that. But I would probably do that. I genuinely prefer sci-fi over fantasy, but I like both. Um, dog. Okay, where am I supposed to be going here? Oh, over there. This is a really confusing side mission, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is a lot of dudes on this fucking ship. And I don't even know if it has the benefit of giving you a gun that's killed two presidents. Yeah, I know. Is there like a nuke on this thing? They had any Metal Gear Z? Why? Oh, there's a new person. Ow! Vortis? Vortis. The grenade never hits where I want it to hit, and it's so frustrating. <laughs> no, sir, their approach to the grenades was interesting, but honestly, I'm kind of glad I don't see it a lot in other games. I think you guys are able to shake off fire really quickly. Stop 
shooting fucking rockets. Please. I hate that they have infinite ammo with those rocket launchers. Like they are using they're so fast. They are using the equivalent of my heavy weapon. Um, what would you do if you got a plushie in real life? Whenever you boop people with it, they turn into cute little anime girls in real life. Um, I would probably give it to the SCP Foundation because that sounds dangerous. I was gonna say that sounds like something that belongs in the oldest house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that sounds like an SCP, and I don't fuck with SCPs. Is there an elevator on this guy? Get my control mode and choose a key. But did not answer. Something was going on. People are There's a conspiracy happening. Payload. What is in the payload? Oh, okay. Sure, we'll leave. What was in the tube? What's in the tube? What? No, show us what's in the tube! <laughs> uh, why not just keep it? Um. Well. It's not specified whether or not we can turn people back from being anime girls, and that's dangerous. Um, that sounds like a contagion ready ready to happen. Um, that sounds like Cool World about to happen, and we yeah. don't know what happens in cool Nobody world. wants Cool World. a weird name for a movie being what it is about. Mm -hmm. Kelly, stop looking at my emails. Wait. What's the three prototypes? Three prototypes. Oh. One more heavy skin weave. Uh, you know what? That's probably in one of the shops on the planet. I'm, there's no point at this point. This stuff doesn't carry over to Mass Effect 3 anyway. Uh, sorry for asking question. No, you're fine. You're fine. Mm. Um, I do not mind interacting with the chat. Okay, let's let's do Overlord. Oh, oh wait, we still have the firewalker shit. Shit, I forgot. Oh, oh yeah, we still need to finish the firewalker. So. God damn it, firewalker. Oh, so there he is. Hi, Dom. There he is. Hello, Hi. Dom. How are you both? Uh, I'm okay. That's good. I am recovering from a headache, so I'm doing okay. That's good too. One half capacity. I am glad that you are doing. Okay. Go away. Go away. What's going on? Mass Effect? Mm-hmm. We're just, uh... The goal is to do all the DLC. Which one are we on now? Firewalker. Ah. So, only the best yeah. of the best of vehicle interactions. And send it to me. So, hang on. I have a question about, about this hypothetical plushy that we've been talking about for like the last five minutes. What's this? <laughs> okay, I've been getting like hypothetical <laughs> questions from chat and I've just been answering them. And this one okay. came up about like, basically it's a plushie and if you boot people with it, they turn into anime girls. But. This feels like, how do I describe this? This feels like the setup for a kind of like that people have seen I before, but sorry, go on. I said it was an SCP and that I would give it to the SCP Foundation. But, um, do people just turn into, like, anime versions of themselves, or do they just turn into anime characters that already exist, or do they become OCs? Like, this is important information, I need to know and this. do they become what the where, what the user wants them to be? Because this, in, in, this introduces another question, is if you boop somebody else with it, do you turn them into what you want them to be, or do they turn yeah, what they Yeah, who has control in this situation? 
Or is, is this a, like some sort of like... Or is it the plushie itself is conscious and is making those decisions instead? <laughs> like there's some force behind or inside the plushie. Some magic force, presumably, that is deciding for you. Turning into anime characters that exist and it is no turning back. Oh... There's, there's only so many I like and I wouldn't get to choose unless I did get to choose. And then what if other people choose the same one? Because, like, <laughs> if it's controlled, right? Like, if the form yeah. you take is controlled by the user, then I'd boot myself with it and turn into Biken and then give it to the SCP Foundation. See, there's a good idea. You look suspiciously anime, ma'am. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. <laughs> also, wait, did the mission fail? <laughs> Yes, because this Firewalker vehicle has like no HP and dies in like two hits. So you're meaning you mean you can't just ram these like horrible No. No, they the learned their lesson from Mass Effect there... One. Like that was the only way to kill these things before. <laughs> yeah. Turn enemy characters that exist and there's no turning back. Yep. That, that's what I said, like all oh, that's not as fun, right? That's very dangerous. And yeah, like, because presumably you get to choose, but then what if someone else chooses the same one? Well, then you'd have to get into, uh, what, what do the kids call Freaking it? Like, Highlander-esque, like, like, which is the final yeah. biking? Who <laughs> gets to be the, the real biking? <laughs> I'm the real biking. <laughs> I'm the real head bug baker. Could you imagine the hell that would cause them? Also, if you use it on the wrong person, that could, like, seriously fuck them up, because, like, gender dysphoria is a real thing. That's a good point. It's all fun and games until someone gets turned into something they don't want to be. What the hell is this thing? Uh, Geth. It's Geth-shaped. Huh. It's shaped like a Geth. Oh, that's right, and you get, like, pushed out of it? That, that gets yeah, I, these Firewalker missions aren't great. Yeah, I remember this now. It sucks. Okay, so... <laughs> I can very easily do this, I just have to do it from like a mile away. Cause the missile's home. Oh that's nice, then yeah, just do it from the safety of far away. I can't believe they gave the Mako a fucking sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sniper rifle that fires missiles. What? Why does it have a VI voice? Uh, Cerberus. I don't know. The Cerberus one of the heavy. I was gonna say, for people who are all about human supremacy, they sure do play fast and loose with their potential AIs. <laughs> they do know what happened with the Quarians and the Geth, right? Yeah, but, like, that was the Quarians. Oh, well, it definitely won't happen to us. We're much more no. superior. <laughs> and definitely have never made a mistake, ever. Humans yeah. have never made a mistake. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I read history books and they're all cowards. <laughs> Extraction complete. Uh... I was about to say, could Geth have artifacts? Aren't they relatively new? But they've been around for like a couple centuries. Actually, I don't know. Can you? I don't know. I need to double check with Legion to see if he has a, a thing about Geth culture. Because I want to say Geth like... do have a culture, it's just different. Well, they do. I was more like, I don't know if there was enough time between like their rebellion and like. Uh, it's been a now, long Yeah, it's been a it's long, been time. long time. Yeah. Hey, one sec. The plushie was made in 1900s owned by a child that died for unknown reasons. Is this a real thing? Like, is this a thing? Is this like a creepypasta thing? Sounds like either creepypasta or somebody's like, stole, like an actual story. I was gonna say, this sounds like an actual SCP. <laughs> I actually kind of wonder if it is actually an SCP. Maybe I should try some that SCP. Oh my god! 
Hmm? Okay, that wasn't so bad. The Colossus just wouldn't fucking die. Oh yeah, things just don't fucking die. For missiles, they do like no fucking damage. Um... It's a shame you can't like equip like incendiary ammo on, on this thing. Ooh, okay. Just made that to the end. Oh my god, you have to use jump ramps? What the hell is this? Hit that ramp, Hitty. <laughs> it's that sweet ramp. Honestly, yeah, I am pretty impressed. That's pretty quick backstory, considering. I would be if there wasn't blood involved. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hyper-realistic blood! <laughs> That's how you know it's a creepy pasta. <laughs> yeah, I guess that kind of has- that's like a requirement. I do like that a lot of SCPs are generally harmless, though. That's a concept. They're just- they're just there. They're just kind of weird. That's kind of the I thing kinda... I liked about Control. Yeah. I yeah. kind of wish Control leaned a little bit more into the super weird and abstract SCPs. Yeah. That's what I- I mean, it's the first game. I wouldn't be surprised if they do more along this line, especially oh, given how oh. the DLC ends. Oh, the I almost killed myself. Because <laughs> I'm mixing <laughs> up buttons. Why is the homing locking onto the side ones before the middle one? The one I'm looking at directly. <laughs> the fucking ramps. I feel like in other scenarios it'd probably be like the ramps would be like more fun, but in this case they're just like terrifying. Yeah, I get nervous every time I have to take a jump. These missiles do not like it when I move around. I have to like make sure I don't move too much, otherwise they just straight up miss. Honestly, the way this fucking thing shoots kind of reminds me of when I was, like, playing Gravity Rush, and, like, mm -hmm. if you're trying to move around and swing sh at things at the same time, it's just, like, you'll miss by, like, two miles. Yeah. God, I miss Gravity Rush. I should stream that. Gravity um, Rush is very good. Because I haven't... I played the Vita version, but I didn't play the remaster, so... Um... I was gonna say, the remaster plays like a fucking dream in my yeah. experience playing it. Did it use gyro controls? I don't remember, actually. I feel like the second one does. But I might have turned them off just because I was, like, not wanting to tilt my controller so mm -hmm. much. SCB story is not hard, it just needs thinking and planning, and I can do that on the fly. If I wanted to, I can... Oh no, the hyper-realistic stuff I was just making fun of like generic creepypasta. Um, actual SCP? actual oh. SCPs usually have a lot more thought behind them than creepypasta. I like that somebody submitted a joke one which was just literally Satan. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> I mean, isn't like the first one like God? I can believe that. What's up? Isn't like SCP-1 God or something? Oh, is it? That's funny if so. The most I unknowable would... SCP. Blue Suns, Ambush, Encrypted mm. Data. Uh, here's the code. Huge win for the Alliance. Prototype recovered. Oh shit, I don't know if these missions count as like time advancement things and my fish are dead because I haven't been paying attention. I need to go check on my fish. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Kelly, feed my fish. Yeah. I think we had to flirt with her more if we wanted that. I, I shouldn't have to flirt with somebody. <gasps> no, they, they died. died. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. So it's good. not canon. It's not canon. The fish lived. <laughs> they survived the collectors, and they can't survive us dinking around in a car for two missions. No messages for you, Commander. 
We'll buy more fish later. Why can't they be like our hamster who is sturdy and wonderful? I don't have to feed the hamster. We're gonna need fuel again already. SCP or zero 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 zero. Okay. Um, Firewalker research data. Is there an SCP that is a coffee pot, like a creepy pasta? Like the the creepy pasta itself is the SCP. Yeah. Probably, I can imagine somebody doing that. Why do I have to stop for gas? <laughs> I don't know. Like, Face I guess down. it is technically more realistic, but it's also kind of like... Just it's just kind of assumed, right? Later. Like, if you go somewhere, if you go to an official port and land, isn't it kind of just assumed that you're like... Your ship crew is fueling up while you're away? Like... I mean, if you're at a place that would have, like civilization on it typically yeah mm -hmm. or like why are there also like solar options on the normandy yeah we're so around suns enough Oh, apparently there is a term for a shepherd that is both renegade and paragon called renegon. Renegon? <laughs> and I'm kind of sad it isn't paragade, honestly. Sounds like a weird, like, modeling issue. Like, if you have a <laughs> fucked up polygon, it's called a renegon. <laughs> and then it calls oh, you yeah, a you bitch. Platforming! Why? This feels wholly unnecessary. Extraction complete. Somebody at Bioware was very angry when they asked for people. Yeah. <laughs> Bioware just goes, uh huh? <laughs> oh, God. People were like, give us vehicle, and Bioware was like, I'll give you a fucking vehicle, you little shits. Good luck controlling it, dumb shit. I hope you like ice levels in video games, because that's what it's gonna feel like. The platforming, too. Like, what in God's name? Oh, God. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and do it. Oh, Lord. Speed straps. Parkour! Oh, God. I did it. Oh, it should work. Was that even what you were supposed to do? Ah, uh, probably not, because I probably could have just gone down here and then, yeah. Ah. But I'm a gamer. I don't need... <laughs> I don't need stupid long ways. <laughs> we're just following Legion's example. Doing sick gamer strats. Extraction complete. <laughs> Just having one mission where Legion's like, where are we dropping today, yeah. Commander? Research Shepard Commander. Shepard Commander. I've been playing Fortnite. <laughs> they definitely only use the default skins, but you better fucking believe that they're getting victory royales out the ass. Legion plays Fortnite, but it's an entire team of just him. Like, it's, it, like, it's a... It's a battle royale between him and the, like, 1,853 other people in his brain. See, that's how they actually do polling. Yeah, they play Fortnite. Shepard Commander, my brain is tilted towers. <laughs> a nice area in the middle of a lava pit. Yeah, well, who the fuck built a little manor in the middle of a fucking, like, volcano planet? Who are you trying to impress, Jim? 
I'm gonna assume your name's Jim. This smells of the work of a Jim or a Stacy. I can just feel it in my bones. Doctor King. Doctor Orloy and I have to treat all the cancer. Oh, they're looking for Prothean shit. Is that a TV? That's a computer. Oh yeah, this is like a pretty nice TV. What the hell? Oh dear. Activation of research base power grid has triggered additional volcanic instability. Who made this? <laughs> They built a fucking time bomb? Is this actually timed or is it just trying to I don't make see you a feel timer. like you have If it's timed, they're gonna be mad. Not Ooh, that way, God. okay. Going the long way. That's a leak. All these nice windows to look over all the nice hot steam yeah. lava. All the nice <laughs> lava. What a great view. Like that villain base in the Incredibles. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, the rest of the planet is fucking angry. Ah, stop shaking the screen, I can't see anything! <laughs> I think, green I think this is just Bioware is mad, the DLC. I, oh my god, I couldn't see that. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh. oh, hang on, we gotta stop for a second and just oh, grab wait, this. Hang hang on. On. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, violent screen vibration is like really hard to watch. It's Actively oh, difficult God. to drive when it does this. I wish it would stop. Oh. Good lord. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm so fucking mad. That seems dangerous. Nailed it. I have to imagine there's like a billion scratches on the floor of this thing because Shepard just does that every single time. Mechanic is constantly pissed off at her. Jesus Christ, Shepard, again? Then they just they just put some Ami Joe on it and it fixes. Yeah. <laughs> is Ami Joe even a thing in this game? No. That's why uh, Shepard makes the. That's why Shepard says the line. Remember when you could just put Omni Gel on it and call it a day? Omni Gel just stopped working. They ran out. It just doesn't work. I was gonna work. say. Tragic Omni Gel shortages of twenty one fifty seven or whatever. <laughs> Oh, for a minute I thought one of the system names was Yakuza, and I'm like, oh! Oh! Interesting choice. <laughs> but it is not, I can't read. Holy shit, there's so many of these firewalker I missions, know. why do they hate you so much? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the Prothean Ruins. Oh, good lord. Mm. Ugh, I don't like this planet. It's got too many holes. Yeah, it looks pop marked. Ugh. Had a bad pu puberty. Going back to the planet to do some sweet tricks in my new ride. Kinetic barrier detected. Kinetic barrier strength beyond conventional weapon capability. Recommend disabling power sources. 
Oh, oh. Good lord, it's following the lines again. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Oh, I think I see why they did it like this. I feel like this DLC is testing ground for Overlord, because this thing comes back for Overlord in like a shorter way, like less like, egregious. It's just like a little section of Overlord that you do. That has the Firewalker vehicle thing. I think it's called the Mantis or something. Up the rock, please. Thank you. Okay, maybe not. Okay, can I exploit? I can. I'm gonna do it. Oh! Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay. Good lord, the music. Yeah, the music's a little too intense for this. I was gonna say, it sounds like we're being tragically betrayed by someone we love. Lord, did they all have to be rocket drones? <laughs> Kinetic barrier strength reduced. I'd honestly no. rather barrier deactivated. Path is oh, clear. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hmm? And now we can fuck off. Oh, nope. Now we get to explore. <laughs> yeah. Well you don't just open a barrier and not explore what's behind it. I mean, do we want to be walking around here? Um, what the fuck were you people doing? They hired the Blue Suns to protect a Prothean dig site as if that was going to work. Why would that ever work? Weren't the Blue Suns the one that was writing, like, maintaining their own private prison? Yes. The one Zaid founded? With the other guy that we killed. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that, that we set on fire. Why is he still on our team? <laughs> he actually has a blue sun's tattoo on his neck. Oh good lord. I've silenced Aloy forever. So a murder happened here. This is valuable. Oh. What the fuck is that thing? I don't know. I don't know if I found the. Did Did I ever show you this from Mass Effect One? Because this is in Mass Effect One as well. I don't remember the orb. I don't remember what planet it's on, so I probably missed it. You can find this thing in Mass Effect One too. There's like another one you can find. Um, and when you pick it up, it's just like it shrinks down to the size of a baseball, and you put it in your pocket, and then it never becomes like relevant ever again. What? <laughs> You know, like most Prothean objects do. What the fuck is this thing? It's Ozma. <laughs> <laughs> orb. I will now worship the orb. All hail orb! Orb! Oh yeah, let's just touch it! Surely nothing can go wrong. Uh, oh. oh, it's a visual representation of what they tell you in Mass Effect 1. <laughs> we did it again. Finally, the perfect fun, bowling yeah. ball. Did they literally just do this so that people who find more orb lore could get orb lore? <laughs> and there's like very little orb lore to it, right? They don't say anything after this. Orb lore, or as I like to call it, lorb. Lorb. Um, <laughs> the lorb. The lorb. If you follow the lorb, you will know that orb is good. Commander, you and we love orb. Your private terminal. It's the... Is the orb sitting amongst your gum claw now? <laughs> oh, you know what? We need to check. <laughs> we should invite Garrus to come and look at the orb with Garrus, us. Garrus, let us gaze upon the orb or lorb. 
Is it on my desk? Oh. Mm, no. There's a lot of things on this desk, but shockingly, we have a Medal of Honor. Oh, what? it's on the table. Oh, sweet. Orb. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> and it just pulsates in your room. You're like, I'm, I'll keep it as a pet. <laughs> this is safe. Honestly. Wait, you can examine it? Oh, yeah. it just throbs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just throbbing. There. It makes a little like <laughs> pulsating and stuff. Watching you as you orb. sleep. Orb. We actually could invite Garrus. <laughs> yeah, Garrus. <laughs> Garrus, come gaze at the orb. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back, sorry. I'm <laughs> lounge next to the orb. <laughs> we will we'll cuddle next to the orb. I almost love you as much as I love the orb. <laughs> Fucking incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Shepard takes this weird, suspicious object that clearly made two researchers kill themselves mm -hmm. and, like, is like, this would be look great on my living room table. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking killing it. Okay. Death incursion. Oh god. Is I'm this going... the last one? I, I think so. I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah. I don't remember there being like more than five. And we're like right next to Overlord, so we just go from that to Overlord. Orberlord. Orberlord. Oh god, the burritos I had earlier coming back to haunt me a little bit. Oh. Um... What do you mean you found something? We found something, Edie. We were told to come here. Oh, if you run out of fuel, it just start using uh, your other resources? Uh, I believe so, yes. Interesting. Why do they have you really pick, like, teammates? Because you don't... Yeah, because we don't do anything. You just take anybody. Because they don't even comment on anything inside no. the thing because there's a VI. Warning. Prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures may degrade engine performance. Oh, that's right. We have to mine for heat. You know, like Lost Planet. I was gonna say, it's a, it reminds me a little bit of like the end half of Journey, except like, I don't feel any emotions except mild frustration. Yeah. Also weird that a piece of machinery like this would need... You would think that it would generate enough heat on its yeah. own, maybe. I mean, we got like rocket thrusters going on here. Shouldn't it have, like, I don't know, thermal plating, or, I don't, just, like, a... What, what is that thing called when you, like, turn it on for your windshield, so that it heats up and snow can melt off of it? Oh, the thing I turn on, like, every day? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I forget what it's called off the top of my head, because, uh, brain cells no have, but... Look, my brain's been devoted to Firewalker right now. Firewalker, more like Fire Donker, because it's a fucking failure. Oh, I should have gone with Fail Walker, never mind. Oh dear. I don't know. Where we're we going, like, worth the trouble? God, the snow effects are just a little bit too aggressive. Yeah. It, they're Hi, also White. a little Welcome back. strain. Welcome back, White. 
The snow kind of looks like a weird, like... Looks like rain. It looks very... Yeah? I was gonna say, it looks kind of like somebody somehow green screened, like, extras throwing fucking snow in from, like, off screen. I hate that they so obviously put this last one as like a, as like a speed check. Like, hey, have you been keeping your engine up? Because this last one's gonna take forever to get to. Extraction complete. Ugh. That should do it. We went to a cold planet to dig up heat to keep ourselves warm on the cold planet. Why couldn't we just like set ourselves down closer? Also, if the firewalker... Wait, was that literally it? Yeah. Did we learn anything? No. Did we grow as people? No. What the fuck? Service, take your stupid, shitty <laughs> firewalker thing and chuck it into lava. It's bad. What, is, what the hell is this? This was DLC. People paid People for this. I for paid this. for this. That was paid with, with real money. Ugh, on to better and brighter things, yeah. hopefully. Although, Project Overlord, I guess it'll explain it once we get in there. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's just a bunch of side quests and then arrival, and then we're done. Until Mass Effect 3 yep. strikes again. Well, more like Return of the Spectre, I guess. <laughs> we didn't even level up. It's not even like a way to level up. That was a shitty DLC. I hate it. I was gonna say, I thought we were doing something else on the snow planet, but instead all we got was this stupid orb. The lore. But or with Lorb. Thank God you came. My name is Dr. Gavin Archer. The situation is urgent. We're facing a Wow, Gavin Archer. Give an utterly British name. Later, but you must retract that transmission dish. The controls aren't far from your position. You have to hurry. So wait. Declare what? Um, in a second, dude. I'm looking Ooh, for loot. Monica. Seems like everything is going to shit. I've locked myself in a computer room on the far side of the base. There are gears on the loose. A rogue VI program has seized control, and I've lost a lot of friends today. I'd hate to see you join them. Please watch yourself. Is this like a, an extension of that like fucking showdown we found? Um, no, actually. Oh, that's the only way in that room. I thought I could just walk in there. Nope. Oh. This is a service base? Oh, I guess yeah, it this is. is. Yeah, it's server's logo. Nope. I don't know if I trust this guy. I mean, he's working for Cerberus. Activate the satellite dish. Oh, there it goes. Just gonna retract that into the earth. Ow, ow. Ow, what the fuck? I forgot about that. Why does it sound like a kazoo that's face boosted? I'm turning that down. I'm... <laughs> Ow. Because that's going to get worse. I know it gets worse. Sound effects or is it dialogue? I, I don't know. Dialogue. I'm going to lower them both to like 50. 
It's still gonna be loud though, and I apologize. Really aggressive, like raspberry noise. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah, I see your eyes. I was gonna say, does shooting his monitors do anything? No, I don't think it even damages the monitor. Oh. Uh. What the hell is going on? Oh, sorry, I took Legion. I was gonna say, this should. This is probably a bit uncomfortable for Legion. drums it's gonna say we're having a lot of dramatic fight music still going on those beautiful space lounges uh -huh. to look at our gorgeous satellite dish and what in god's name was the satellite dish supposed to do something Presumably to control guests, but uh, that seems to work not at all. Oh, Jesus Christ, the flamethrower. Yeah. Mine sucks. Theirs is really good for some reason. Oh. They have lounge music? Yeah, is that coming from that? For some reason, it's coming from like right here. Huh. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Oh, this is a weird well, tram car. Oh, this is just like Black Mesa. So Preston has the deck. Birds. Hi, my God. Yeah, hang on. I know we're working on it. Hang on. How the hell are you supposed to be able to destroy the antenna on this thing? It's fucking massive. Bye! <laughs> Later. I just realized that, like... Okay. I want- I- I hope I don't, like, kill myself by doing this, but I just want to turn off the dialogue sound and hope that's not what the fucking VI is using for its sound. Please don't be. I am a little concerned that it might be. Although, we're away from monitors current, current, currently in the myth. Oh, that's not safe. That cannot be this OSHA is not, approved. This is not OSHA approved. Look at all the slack of handrails. That's a long <laughs> way down. Ow! Yeah, okay, I think he uses dialogue volume. I think he uses dialogue volume. Oh, 
Oh, that guy's still alive. Oh, Shockwave landed. Shockwave has a hard time actually killing. You kind of just have to I hope that it knocks can... people off. I'm on it. I was gonna say, it's gotten a lot of them off. There it goes. God, oh, that mom is, mod is doing so much heavy lifting. Why the hell? So, maybe they weren't trying to tr control gas, but I can't imagine needing a dish of this size. Are they trying to, like, pirate cable? What is this? They want all those geth channels. For free. <laughs> the elusive man doesn't want to pay for it. I was about to be like, what do you guess do for entertainment? But very clearly, they play video games. Yeah. Ow! Ow! God, why? This game loves its rocket launching henchmen. You got it. I did not kill him. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's a biggie. Oh, boy. Uh, Keep shooting him. Are you still there? I think Don had to walk away for something. Destroying the thing that you were standing in is not probably the safest thing. They didn't have a better failsafe than this? Nope. Okay, I'm sorry, please stop yelling at me. That hurts my ears like a fucking lot. <laughs> I was say, where the hell is it even making sound at you from? Everywhere. <laughs> Come on. Get off of this fucking thing? Move! The whole thing's given way! Yeah, no shit, that's what we were doing! That's why we did this, Shepard! The whole point! Did Shepard, like, lose all over the brain cells? Over here! What the hell's going on in that there? Man's reach exceeding his grasp. Why well, aren't you poetic? Well, 
That was a lot of money down the drain. You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer, chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. I hate to see what you call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed, at least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now. Infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off world. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. You didn't account for maybe a viral outbreak? David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at the station. I was gonna say, like, in lockdown now. they didn't account for anything, it sounds like. Like, 101, when yeah, testing viruses and shit, don't do it on something connected to the internet. How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization. But you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Now let me ask you a question. Is your friend here going to be a problem? Hey, no. Legion is a a good collective of minds. Who can't be brainwashed? It's him. Don't worry. I'll take your word for it. I was gonna say, leave Legion alone. He's a good boy. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the guest religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them weaponizing religion, ha <laughs> have you heard of Christianity? <laughs> no, no kidding. Face, if you will. The guest might be We've decided that we would like a crusade, you might say. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory a crusade has never failed. We could avoid war with the geth altogether. That was the plan. You could just talk to them? What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? I don't think those are equivalent. Uh, yeah, those are Sometimes not equivalent. You have to ignore the risks. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within There's a difference between, like, kind of accidentally potentially finding the end of the universe and then, like, you know, basically manufacturing. Yeah, like, I'm a trying to. I'm just trying to find something. You're trying to fucking, like, use unethical science. Here we go. And away we go. This is where it gets kind of sort of firewalky, but like, not a shit. Because <laughs> this came out after, so they they kind of yeah. heard the feedback from Firewalker and they were like, okay, maybe not as bad. Maybe. Oh, it's a fetch quest. Uh-huh. This is weirdly a fetch quest that feels a little bit like the, um, some of those segments in Uncharted 4 where you're, like, puttering around in the 4x4. Yeah. Oh, if only we had a good winch. That was an exciting moment. Uh -huh. 
Look at all that driving we did. I'm glad that you had to do two loading screens for that. How is the driving around not a loading screen? I don't know. Oh wait, we can bring all new people with us? I guess. They were in the truck. <laughs> people stowing away. Yeah, I was gonna say like 12 people fucking stowing away on that tiny ass fucking mantis. <laughs> Listen, they're bored. Also, technically, they did do it before with that one inexplicable mission that required. Oh yeah, that like it. shuttle that fits like six people, but somehow fit all <laughs> thirteen of us. <laughs> one of which being a Krogan, mind you. Krogan are not small. Even Grunt, who is small for a Krogan. You baby. Oh, what? Oh, no, not this shit. Again? Again? Ah, what are you- Oh, fucking turret, holy crap. <laughs> what is this? <coughs> what do these spots do? Just give you credits? Just, I oh, think you just give me guess... stuff, yeah. Resources. Oh boy! <laughs> I love Lava Frogger! Oh my Christ. <laughs> This is supposed to be the improved <laughs> experience. Yes. Also, for something named the Fire Walker, it doesn't really uh. Doesn't really walk on fire. fire yeah, it doesn't really do the lava thing, does it? No. Thruster velocity is inadequate to clear the wall ahead. Ugh. Did I just like double confirm that? I didn't mean to do that. That reminds me, I um I think I found a bug in 14. Oh? Mm -hmm. Um I was doing a trust run of um a chef. God, that's so loud. Ah. I was doing a trust run of a dungeon and I activated the limit break literally less than 1 second before um What's her name? Alize did. And both of our limit breaks went off. Ooh. Tandem limit breaks. Yeah. So if you know the timing for the NPC to do the limit break and you do it before they do, but right as they do it. Okay, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can do a double limit break. It's like a charge attack in Grand Blue. <clears throat> Interesting. I mean, I wonder if it is repeatable. Have you been able to try it again, or...? Uh, no, because it was at the last boss, and I don't remember the exact percent percentage that it was. It's going up. <laughs> Does not want me going any higher. Fair.
I keep forgetting what the button is for jump and fucking boost, and I keep mixing them up. Lava frog. Let's go. Well, now you have to go down river. Is there something up there? Or... Oh. Nope, I think it's just trying to give me height for this. But I think I can just go that way anyway. Honestly, this is more vehicle section than I would have expected, probably. Yeah, I remember Firewalker reading longer permission, but uh, I think I confused it with this. I mean, probably a fair confusion, because they're pretty close in structure, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Although, this one won't probably give you a giant silver cue ball to put in your room. I don't know, maybe you get a Tamagotchi with David's weird VA VI consciousness stuck on it. A David Nendroid? That's a little mean. This guy is suffering right now, I shouldn't be making fun of him. Yeah, this does suck. Especially considering that his brother is the one that was, like, doing the... the frickin' experiment. Like, did he say David volunteered for this, or...? He said David volunteered, yeah. I'm suspecting that's not the entire crew, but... Archers. Sus. Seems mighty sus. Wait, what? Why? Are we gonna hit a point in human culture where we get a fucking... transcript of, like, a court case and somebody says somebody was sus? I mean, considering that sus is, like, a term that's been used before, like, uh... Oh, jeez, what the hell was her name? Uh, Lucy? In... Mystery Brothers, uh, says sus quite a bit to say that somebody's, like, suspicious. Uh -huh. It's just kind of weird that it's coming back into parlance in such a way. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I could believe that somebody who's being, uh, like, on the stand might say yeah. that somebody is sus, but I highly doubt a lawyer would be able to get away with it without getting, uh... Your Honor, Your Honor, the, the defendant judge. is acting especially sus. <laughs> I vote we eject them from this courtroom post-case. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Please stop yelling. I'm I guessing the face sabotage did not go over so well. Like, I feel like you could use the, the fucking visuals and shit going on here for like a really good horror game, but like, it's just really loud and it hurts. Mm. It's a little too abrasive. Yeah. Or at the very least, it's sound balanced in such a way as to be too abrasive. I hear a Big Mac. That is a Big Mac. It possessed a Big Mac. Oh, these fucking things. Attacking target. Are there two of them? No, this is just um. My place. Uh, orb. Targeting order processed. Targeting order processed. I guess. <laughs> Some 
awkward geometry to have to shoot around. I will say a lot of the drones in this game share a lot of similarities to the drones they end up using in Prey. Ah, oh, my ear. Mass Effect was a big deal during its heyday, so... What the heck? Me. Most days. <laughs> Oh. Run! Well, what you gonna do? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> this is running in a circle. I do like that they give you that. They didn't have to. The renegade option to yeah. shoot the armless robot? Yeah. I was gonna say, it is a little weird to just have him running around still. Yeah, I mean, what's he gonna do? He can't leave the base. <laughs> can't really do much of anything. I think it's this next part that I remember being a little annoying. Ow. Ah. Yeah, I keep just expecting fucking, like, Drake and Sully to start breaking into dialogue. <laughs> Can I save? No. I need to remember to save. Oh, that's not it. Wait, what's that? Oh. oh, it's just collectible. Fuck that. That's a dead end. Where do you want me to go, video game? Oh, that's... This is where we need to go. This is the last lock that we need to open. Okay. Um... Yeah. I think it's over this way. Like... Logistically, or this doesn't make sense as like a real concept why you would scatter these giant buttons, I guess. Yeah. Like, this doesn't make any sense. It's, just, it's very video gamey. Yeah, this is very much a video game convention that works in a video game, but if you think about it like a little bit, then you're just wondering what. A lot of I was gonna say, like, do they have to sprawl? I don't know, I've noticed like a lot of video game like mechanical plot lines tend to be based on uh, plots that were used in like old fantasy RPGs and shit. Mm. Which make more sense in a fantasy context, because it's like, of course you have to go to the seven ancient temples and activate their magic stone bullshits. That's fantasy. Yeah. It's fantasy, or like that's how magic works, or how curses work, or how e like yeah. evil, evil rituals work. That makes sense to me. Yeah, the implication of sci-fi implies that convenience is much more accessible, um, which, unfortunately, in situations like this, oh. it's just like, why is this not more convenient? Oh, look, it's deer. These these were Mass Effect wow. One. I never found the planet they were on, but they're in Mass Effect 1. Ooh. 
deer, cow, antler. Oh no! I nudged <laughs> it. <laughs> it wasn't even a guided missile. It just walked into the wing. Cut down in its prime. Don't worry, we'll avenge you, deer, cow, and eater thing. With T Rex we'll arms. Destroy the firewalker in the way it deserves. Where is the second place? Oh, here we go. Oh my good lord, holy gosh, ow. I keep popping my jaw. <sighs> yes, Garrus, in the gym. The Sniper Brothers. I think the game froze on me. No. Game, game, oh, God. game. No, 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 no. Game, please We're don't so do this. To me. Please don't. Does it auto save? <laughs> it does auto save. Oh, thank um, Christ! They probably auto saved after that last like gate lock thing. Uh, yeah, I think the game froze. Oh my God! Damn. <sighs> okay. That's actually probably a first for Mass Effect 2. Mass yeah. Effect 1 gave us way more trouble with this. Yeah, Mass Effect 1 gave us more trouble with this. Okay, sorry, all three people in chat. I need to... Uh... <laughs> I know, I'm watching, so I guess I'm one of those people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Capture windows. Okay, I'm just going to have to turn it off on the stream for a second, because I have to end it and then reboot it, because it froze. And I gotta reboot it and like re-enter some private information because server's network. Um, hey. Yeah, so it'll be a sec because it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Ugh. Jesus Christ. I've never seen it do that before. Okay. There's a Garrus Funko Pop, but it is also $134. Oh I don't know what kind I of weird that. I can understand that. I can understand that. Garrus is so fucking popular. Oh, there's a one for Jaal. 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 One for PB. It's weird. Yeah, there were Andromeda ones. that liked. PB's not that like, yeah. I actually kind of like PB. But... Sarah Ryder? Is that um, the... Yeah, so in Mass in Mass Effect Andromeda, instead of just, like, you're either a guy or a girl, you're, you're playing a brother and sister. Gotcha. So you pick which sibling you're playing. You can still customize the other one. Um, it's just, it's just like, kind of, um... Oh, wait, no, that doesn't happen in, uh... Yeah, no, pray. Never mind. Uh, not funny. The funny thing is, though, um, your dad will actually take on facial attributes based on how you customize your writer. Well, that was a nice cool. idea. It's kind of a neat idea, yeah. And it, and it actually looked accurate. Like it didn't like make them look like some horrible abomination like I expected. No, they just look like... My my dad writer ended up looking kind of ugly, I'll be honest. Huh? Um, <laughs> he looked a little pudgy, which is weird because my character wasn't that pudgy. Um, but, um... He's also voiced by the guy who did Hank, also known as Mr. Krabs. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god! What the hell? 
I swear that guy will do just about anything. Great. <laughs> it's so weird, because, like, in the Google search for these, like, fucking uh, Mass Effect Funko Pops, it's like, uh -huh. yeah, you can get Garrus for $134 and Grunt for $134. Or I guess if you want PB, she's nine bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sarah Ryder, she's like six fifty. At that point, you might as well just buy like a figure arts or a fucking Nendo or something. I would kill for a fucking figure arts Garrus, like legitimately. <laughs> that would be so good. Like I really do hope with like the legendary edition that like somebody gets in touch, cause like. Fucking, I don't know. At this point, good, uh, not. Oh my well, god! Yeah, this good smile would be fucking hot about Whoa. that shit. You got exploded. That wasn't even near me. Oh, oh, you're not stream. <laughs> you're not streaming on Discord. Again. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Hang on. No worries. I thought you were still, like, the game was still, like, turning back on. No, I didn't do much. I just drove a little bit and then exploded. Yeah, this is the part I remember being really fucking annoying. What? There's shields on the buttons? The shields on the buttons, for some reason, don't fucking matter, but... It's just there to tell you that's why it's not exploding instantly. Uh, how do they make buttons in the bullet sponges? So why would you have a button to turn off your shield outside oh, of the shield? Oh! You get the can to blow up the shields! Oh, is that how you're supposed to do that? Uh, that's why I hated this part the first time. Hello. <laughs> okay, it's not going to target that one, apparently. There we go. <laughs> Good thing it's not very smart. Mm. Very good. I don't like this thing. It fucking... It's intimidating as shit. This aim is kind of bad. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> mm. There it goes. It's a shame we probably can't get it to shoot itself from like close range. Oh, that'd be so nice. But no. Oh, that was actually relatively painless. Yeah, once you learn how to actually do it instead of doing it the way I did it the first time, so which was <laughs> blow up the shields manually while this thing fires at you the whole time. That took me like 20 minutes when I first did it. Ugh. What the fuck? That's ominous. Hello? Reminds me of this part from Metro Prime. Back again, had to sell my food. No worries. Don's AFK too, because that's what Don does. Dawn really is the family cat of the stream. <laughs> Service personnel really need to stop doing the bad things I've done dot txt thing. It'd be so easier to hide their potential war crimes if they just uh -huh. didn't keep logs on everything. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. Can you shoot the, like, camera? Oh, you can. Oh, nice. I wonder if that does anything. Makes him squeak at you more. Wah. 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 
Don't look in there. Oh, you are correct. In two minutes? That's, That's pretty a very efficient. specific thing. Or shut the door on me, you dick. They're sweeping. Aww, sweepy. Don't look at me. This guy looks so fucking tuckered out. He's just, he's had a day. Ugh. Big mood. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a geth. Just, just have him chill in my room. Hi. I'm kind of, like, part of me is like, I'm surprised nobody's made, like, a plush geth. Yeah, I want, I want a plush geth. I need to commission that. I wonder if I could crochet one. I feel like that would require so many, like, moving pieces, both literally and figuratively. Have you considered that the VI is angry because you've done an ethical no-no? It's weird that everyone keeps calling it an it, even though we all know it's a man and a machine. I was gonna say, you guys literally know the name of this guy, do you not? Or maybe the other bases didn't know the name of this guy? Yeah, it's a... Ow! I kind of made out words there, kind of. Is it smooth jazz? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Is it ska? Do you like jazz? Oh, it's a sliding- oh, it's that fucking oh truck game! Oh my god. It's that truck game! I game. can't believe it. It's fucking this shit again. Yeah, we can make it across. Are you guys making a bridge? Yeah. sliding block puzzles in this day and age. It's gonna yell at me, I know it. We know, sir. You're angry. I'm so glad I got that hacking thing, because by the time I get to this point in the game, I'm just so done with hacking. Yeah. It's kind of like the planet thing where it's like, I'm kind of surprised they didn't add an improvement that just made an auto hack happen. Mm -hmm. I don't remember to do the fucking Garrus murder machine build in Mass Effect 3. <laughs>
I mean, it probably would make a lot of missions pretty easy. Well, it's not like we're playing this to see me do something challenging. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm always here to watch you jump through hoops for my entertainment. I feel like Shepard is having a lot of targeting issues. Uh -huh. I like how this was a gun that killed two presidents, but now it's killed two presidents and 70 million other people. <laughs> I was gonna say, two presidents are the least of its concern at this point. That's fire. Hello. Big lad. Yes. Is he stuck? I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck. Now he's dead. AI here is ironically being kind of jank. Shepard, your blind fire sucks. I'm on it. Either that or they just like can absorb Krogan shotgun hits, which no, seems Shepard missed. That was a clean miss. That was not a long range kill, Legion. I believe that's what we call a, a up close shot. <laughs> With a shotgun. Because that's what you use shotguns for. Warning. Gas nodes 20 through 35 are now active. Emergency action required. That's a lot of gas. Oh, it's this guy. That's unfortunate. Boy, the service lads are going to be quite upset that their centerpiece is now up and walking around. Oh, thank you, Legion. Oh, Christ, my eyeballs. Are you alright? <laughs> Yeah, my eyes just inexplicably hurt today. Mm. It, part of it might be crying based, but I think part of it is just my eyeballs are in pain for reasons unknown. Mm. Damn, I keep forgetting to save, and now I can't because I'm in the fucking thing <laughs> again. What? Did I black out, or did huh? it just like. Commander, you've done it. I don't know what the hell is going on. Granted, I'm having a little bit of like bandwidth issues, but I, I don't know. Nothing's really happened. We're. It just gave me a cutscene to be like, you're back in the main hub. Yeah. No, the, like, for me, like, the cutscene just, like, cut to, like, beautiful, like, yeah. scenery, and there wasn't a ship there at all. Oh. And then all of a sudden there was a ship. I think my bandwidth issues are a little bit worse than I thought they were. 
everybody uh, at home. Yeah. Uh. It happens. Yeah. Although I would hope it would have been better by now. We reset the modem earlier. Uh. This should be the last part. You think Cerevis would stop naming their shit after, like, Greek stuff, considering how much the Greeks love tragedy? Uh-huh. Looks like in, Commander. Good. I'm getting some troubling Ow! Ow! What the fresh hell? Oh, you son of a bitch! Yeah, he's a piece of shit. His poor brother, Jesus. Is there an option to kill this fucking guy, this archer I guy? actually don't remember. Oh, what fun! Did you even ask him, you fucking piece of shit? Probably not. Like, your brother is autistic. He's not like, I don't know, a vegetable you can just like slap into the things. Oh, what the fresh hell is that? Okay, I know that oh. was spawned in. I saw the shadow. He blew up into jibs, gibs, gibbers, giblets. Oh, wait. I've seen this ride before. <laughs> You suck. Like it was bad enough when he just plugged his brother into the, like the fucking thing to begin with, but uh -huh. like, oh, my brother's autistic mind is alien to me. Ah, you stupid fucking asshole. Uh -huh. What a jerk. You didn't even try to understand your brother. Oh, this is funky. Okay. <laughs> Get ready. Don't be surprised if this button summons a reaper. Mm. Oh god, everything is so green. Ah!
This seems concerning. I'm going ghost, I think. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, Shepard has acquired the Echo. So welcome to Tron. Uh, is this DLC? Yes. Ow. Stop? This is the Overlord DLC. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this because my teammates are not here. God, I really want to play Tron 2.0 now. Oh, they have a Tron game? Oh yeah, Tron 2.0 is really old. But it's considered like one of the, one of the best Tron games. I tried to get it off Steam, but it just wouldn't run. So you were experimenting not only on guess but possibly friendly guess at that. Didn't you write them down, fucker? Matrixy. Oh, that's a shame. Because on all the platforms are services. Um, David is a mathematical survivor. What was it that I was talking about earlier? Autistic mind can interpret the guest language at its most basic form and mimic their phonetics. But his I don't think that's quite how that works. Uh, oh, Tron Super Now. Yeah, um, it might be on good old games. Computer, Maybe. I hope it is. Yeah, Steam has a problem where, like, Steam sells old games, but half the old games literally don't even work. Like, you can't even play, like, if you buy Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, you can't even play that game unless you download the fan patch, because it won't boot otherwise. Um, I don't know if good old games would be better if it was on there, but... Yeah, and good old games isn't perfect either, because, like, I've had to download a fan patch from Metal Gear Solid 2. Um... Mm. Because the version that they use is the PC version that was released, like, in the early 2000s. And Konami games on PC in the 2000s sucked. Like... Oh, Santa Link. Nice. Okay. I will check it out. It has been so long since I played this game. I, li I literally don't remember shit from Tron 2.0, other than that it's Tron. All I remember is that it's Tron. And it's like based on the Quake engine or something. Get up on that thing if it exceeded maximum weight capacity. <laughs> it's like that scene from Metal Gear Solid. 
god, and she has one rules. Ow. Actually, I'm curious how the PC version of MGS1 handles, um, Psycho Mantis, because there's not exactly another controller port. I don't know. Maybe you can spoof it in the options or something? Uh, it's about Alan's son being the lead character, which I thought was a cool idea. I don't remember how to do this part. Oh, he's trying to get onto the Normandy. Uh, check oh, the oh, thing, orbs, the orbs. Wire. Yeah, there you go. Okay, it's, that, it's like that part with the Reaper core. See establishing a link. Tell both stations to come all power. It's too late. We want to control. Where is Orb? Oh, Orb. And I'm Jesus. really glad I invested in that fucking <laughs> grenade, because as much as it misses, it is so useful for shit like this, when I have no other way of dealing with armor. Okay, I think that's just gonna spam until I deal with these. So David's just basically become Omega weapon. Yeah, basically. I don't know what exactly they expected when connecting to the Geth network. Did they think it was just completely quiet? Christ on crackers. Yeah. What the fuck? Quiet. Please make it stop. What the hell is this thing? Wait. Come on then. I'm thinking you don't do anything rash. Rash? It's like forcing your own brother into Experiment. I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come to you. You must. What the me. fuck is it's he not in? Madness. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. And before you knew it, you were running your own private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broke up failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. Oh God, he's like impaled through his arms. Yep. And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. If my work I, you should apologize for your lack of humanity, my guy. Mm -hmm. sons, my conscience will rest easy. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. Better well cared for, lab rat. 
What the fuck have you done to him, man? I don't know, man. I think we should give him to, like, somebody else who would actually not probably put him in whatever the fuck this is. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! Dude, you tried to shoot at Commander fucking Shepard? You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Away from here. Grissom Academy. They can help with special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Oh, uh, we Shepherd. quit already. <laughs> we quit already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, let me please take care of my brother since it worked so well the first time. Fuck you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you asshole. Needless to say, Jesus. that that did spark some controversy when it came out. I can believe that, especially since I don't know. For I will say at least like for what it's worth, the uh -huh. person who is autistic is uh -huh. deeply sympathizable. Yeah, yeah. Like it's His just brother is like people just didn't like the shit. People just didn't like that it was exploited for like tragicness. Yeah. Um Security breeze. Let me see. What? Oh, that was the um the Firewalker DLC stuff. Oh. But Firewalker. Um, I don't consider Archer's action. Listen, man, stop emailing me. God, you're like my fucking dad. I already have a dad, and his name is Anderson. Fuel at one half capacity. So I think the only DLC left is Arrival. And I don't think that one's too, too long. It's been a long time, though. That one I haven't played that much. Um, um, the, the other ones are just a bunch of side quests. Yeah. Yeah. And they're they're kind of nothing. You've seen a lot of the side quests. True. I think I can stay awake through Arrival. I'm like mm -hmm. intermittently very sleepy and not sleepy at all. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Probably would help if I sat up more, but like, goddamn. I'm just... Oh, my back. Oh. Sometimes I forget that Dawn's AFK. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that Dawn's even part of the call and that they're AFK. And then I remember that he's on the phone. Oh. And then I'm like, man, he's on the phone for a long time. <laughs> yeah, so this is a solo mission, by the way. And, so? by the way, this leads into Mass Effect 3, so if you didn't buy this, you're going to be so confused. Well, that would suck.
It's weird how many of these missions are just Shepard going solo, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, a lot of Mass Effect 2 is you and the squad. Ah, oh, the bridge isn't working. Okay. Like I said, it's been a while. I'm gonna be, like, finagling. I've been spotted. The Shepard, it's just us. Yeah. I think Shepard's just so used to be, so used to being with other people. That uh, she just says stuff now yeah. with all the silence. I don't know why you're giving us stuff at this point. We've beaten the main point. Here, have five hundred credits for the road. Yeah. Buy yourself something nice. Look, we know you drained half the galaxy's resources, but uh. Here's more resources. This place is run down. Oh, even for a prison. I uh, might as well go see where the dog's going. Oh, this surprised me, I guess. I'm sad we only got to pet one Baron. Yeah. Get your hands off me. That's where we cut power. Oh, that's just a hole. That's a... Ooh. Oh, I guess... You do anything? <laughs> it, it... No... Nope. This is so weird to see puzzles this late in the game. Uh -huh. Is that a Batarian voice? I think so. This is valuable. Heavy weapon ammo. Perfect! The thing I need this late in the game. I was say, Batarians have personal beef with humans. Yeah, so... I didn't really cover it, because they don't really show up in Mass Effect 1 unless you do the DLC, and the DLC is a lot of nothing, honestly speaking. Um, but to kind of summarize that, basically the Batarians are a race who are part of the council races, but they aren't liked, because they insist on maintaining like their, their slaver trade. Um... And the council yeah, imagine that not winning people over. Yeah, the council's like, that's not really cool, dude. Can we not? And they're like, mm, can we? And they're like, no. You don't get to be part of the council. You, you're, you're council race, but you're not part of the council. Um. So, in Mass Effect One, there's a DLC called Bring Down the Sky, where a bunch of Batarians are trying to drop an asteroid on a human colony, and you just you just kind of go through some some bases and you kill them uh, and just doing a char as on yeah and like there's one part where they take them some hostage with a bomb and like it's cool and whatever but it's it's kind of just that it doesn't really say anything it's just like do you want to stop a hostage situation and a and a, and a fucking char's counterattack while you're at it <laughs> and it's like i mean yeah but it's kind of bad in this game Waste this. No screaming, huh? You guys are not that phased. That was like a max level shockwave. I was gonna say, I'm kind of surprised they're not calling in reinforcements. Very confident. Oh, he fell behind the boxes. I think if NPCs fall into areas you can't reach, they just die. Um. I mean, I like that idea uh, behind their mm -hmm. game design. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what they try to do. And that was like the first look at an actual Batarian. Um, what was that noise? Have I been here? No? Yes. No, I'm going backwards. 
This is where I came out of. I was gonna say, I feel like we've seen this break room before, but maybe they have two break rooms. I'm getting some mess with one vibes. Ah, come on. God, remember when we first started this game and we were trying to look at the lunch trays and they were indescribably Yeah! Nonsense? What the fuck was up with those lunch trays? <laughs> I wonder if they Looking put them in here. On ads. Shit. No. You'd think there'd be like a lunch tray or two around, but I guess they didn't put any. I guess not at the Batarium camp, but for some reason, like the like I think startup this is a... colony that they had at Freedom's Progress well, I think... was like loaded. Yeah, I think the premise of this one is that this is a human research lab, and Batarians have kind of invaded, and so they called out for help, and Shepard's here to help. So I basically basically it's the same as the DLC Messing One, except different place. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I'm so lost. Uh, hang on. Uh, that door right there on your, uh, what is that, your right? Hang on. Marker, tell you me where to go. You just it, like, twice. Marker says go this way. Marker says go this way? Marker okay, says you... go Marker says go okay. right. Marker says go left. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm so dumb. I haven't been reading chat. I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, Tron stuff, Simply Link, the Alan Sun. Yeah, I remember that comment, which I thought was a cool idea. They like human slaves. Yeah, they like human slaves, and that's like a big no no. Uh, Terrorists. I mean, normally I would agree, but I feel like this is a little I think of a you're the terrorist! <laughs> Look, these, like these shotgun bolts are expensive. I just, I can't keep wasting them. Actually, is this the first? Or not the first. No, they, there's only three Mass Effect games, but I was just thinking, oh no, you do have human companions. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Miranda can be considered human, I guess. And Jacob. I was about to be like, oh, do you even have human teammates in this game? But yeah, you do. It's just we didn't use them a whole lot. Yeah. Oh my god. And, and you know, like as much as as much as people complain about Andromeda, like I will say this much: the human companions in Andromeda are, are actually kind of interesting. Like they're actually people I would hang out with. I'm so glad we have time to play this crane game. Yeah. I'm gonna Why get are it. there puzzles? <laughs> Like, normally I'm kind of here for it, but I'm just like, I am so perplexed. Hang on. So are you trying to get them on the truck? Nope, that's not gonna work. It's just like a sliding block puzzle with more dimensions to it. What is happening? If you move it forward, it like goes right past the truck. So what are you supposed to do? Oh, maybe I am supposed to put it down here, or not? I don't know. What am I doing wrong, Bioware? What do you want from me? Hang on. Uh, this is called. This, this is called uh, arrival. Arrival truck. Also. <laughs> Oh, there's a thing down here. Can I move the truck? Oh, can you? Uh, oh, I guess we just sent oh. the truck to hell. Okay. okay. Wait, was moving the thing unnecessary? Maybe. I don't know. 
Maybe we'll bring it down just in case I have to go back. Oh, what the fresh hell is this? Mm, looks like lasers. I'm gonna save. Yeah? Because I'm gonna test something stupid. Oh no. It's a security laser. Oh. So it didn't, like, hurt you? No. Ah! Ah! Oh, you got a medal of some kind. Oh, that's why she's not moving. Yeah. What does this button do? Why was that no a question mark? Torture doesn't work. I was gonna say torture is an ineffective method. Also, it, they are giving you in, uh, nope. information. That's They're telling reaper. you the reapers are coming. And blood. Ooh. That's a lot of blood to make a reaper. Ugh. They drew a reaper? In blood. Ugh. So, these are some of the few people that didn't listen to the... the council's, like, everything is fine, actually. What? Are you giving her a seizure or something? Fuck you. Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing, Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. And this is my least favorite place on the Citadel. I should think so. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape pod. Then we'll find one. Go! Ready. Doctor is hardcore. Yeah. Is she level upable? Uh, I can't check the squad right now, so. Nah. I'm guessing not. She might just be scaled to your stats. Uh -huh. Come on. The real irony that they were torturing this woman and she was telling them actually highly valuable information. Yeah. And they're like, well, that's not the information we want, so we don't actually care. I'll be right there. <laughs> On my way. No. Uh. Burn. I'll be right there. God damn it, doctor. <laughs> Can't get a Ooh, that looks like a fancy Hi, I'm back. Hi. Oh, good lord. Hello. 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 Hi. How's everybody? We're doing the last hey, DLC. Hey. Oh, the best one. Yeah. Well, I think the Liara one's better, but... Oh, the Liara one is good, yeah. Goodbye! Just... Just... Still upset that they don't allow for Polly Shepherd. It's so dumb. 
They don't even do it in Andromeda either. Hmm? They don't even do it in Andromeda either. And you think that one... Like, that one goes, like, all out with the romances, too. Which one did you want? The heck? Polyamorous relationship. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. Okay. Uh, I... They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. What door? How? What? Which door in the back? That could be any door. Oof. Oh, ugh. Excuse me, Jen. Do you see a door? Oh, that's fine. Oh, this door. Coming up from below. From Other below? Side. Are they cockroaches? How do you see this stuff, lady? Where is below? Describe below. Uh, I think Probably there. The lower platform. Yeah, see? From below. Uh, I don't like this. What nice you shooting at me and stuff. I'm just trying to kill you. I'm trying, hang on. I have this guy with a shield here who needs to die. Thank you. Okay, moving on. I'm watching. Stop yelling at me, lady. Oh, I killed a few of them before they even got up. Nice. Nice. Oh god. Oh god, they're breaking through the doors. They're breaking through doors. Ah! Stop Why it! Why shouldn't we bring somebody else with us? A super secret top. I don't know. Tension. That's why. I guess. I guess this is about as close to a sneaking mission as we'll ever get. And I can't even say it's particularly stealthy. Come here. Just a little bit, a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> Feel compelled by my glowing frisbee. Oh, finally! Can we do this now, this lady? Where? Okay, get us. Oh, squad! Can we level up? No, she is nope. an NPC. It's so weird because it lets you do uh, Liara. Yeah. Leave that to me. I'm good at old-fashioned ways. Look at me, I have a nuke. Ow! I just have the image of him floating burned into my eyes. We do? Ah! God damn. The stun grenades suck. Yeah, the flash grenades are annoying. Stop using those. Standing there. Is Got he it. stuck in the wall? Yes. <laughs> I mean, better for you, really. We have to break the lock from the bay door. Is one not enough? Can we just settle for one? Does it have to be both? Surely we can just muscle our way through. 
Why are we waiting? Just go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just get on the da damn shuttle. Well, if that's one way to do it. <laughs> A little harsh. Who's driving? Do you think they'll come after you? Oh, it's autopilot, right? Any chances. <laughs> the Tarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true. Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out on the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in the system. When they Are you still there, Dom? They'll use its mass relay to travel through. Yeah, sorry, I'm just eating. Oh, okay. They call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just call the project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it. Before the Reapers could arrive. Ah, oh, this time we're the ones watching the asteroid at things. I'm sorry, it would wipe out the the system. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relay. Just the solar system. It's all right. Mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from the relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over three hundred thousand Materians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket Ezo core. The Patarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed, and, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speeds. By I'm sorry, a planet? It's more than enough. <laughs> you plan on you know, using I mean, a big enough asteroid is basically like a planet. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. I mean, you don't have to, like... Artifact. How have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead can change power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. <sighs> the stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to project base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The commander needs to confirm the artifact. You know, instead of a slamming a planet, I could use a, a nuke gun. I have a nuke gun. <laughs> All set. Just sit back nuke and gun solves a lot of issues. It's, it's, yup. And by solving issues, I mean it kind of causes issues more often. Yeah, I'm kind of scared to use it now. I didn't know it had friendly fire. I am unsurprised. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised, but here I am, surprised. <sighs> I'm going to say, part of me is like, Lady, you do not have to prove anything to Commander Shepard. She knows the Reapers are coming. Mm hmm. But I 
I guess it's kind of weird that they have like one relay they bother really using to get around on. Mm -hmm. Since you think it would just be more efficient to have like multiples, but I guess the Reapers were like, eh, we didn't really plan for a contingency because everyone else is so stupid. I didn't know that. Yeah, where the fuck did... <laughs> How the fuck did they... It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Oh, okay, we're going. I mean, we only have two There's days. Two at the end of that corridor to your left. To your left. There you go. God, why did you bring up a data pad for that? You could have just said, Shepard, that's not the right way. Project back up and running. Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but... Holy shit, days. she's so fast. Sounds like you could use some 48-hour energy. <laughs> Reapers will reach this system regardless. I'm gonna need a lot of five hour energies. Is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. There's a lot of people on this base. Yeah, a lot of people are ready to blow up a planet. A blow up like a system. And killed three hundred thousand Batarians. Probably the only chance we have. One sec, let me get the door. Commander Shepard. Holy shit. It's like an upside down jellyfish. Do you have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson. This is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. This thing is giving off such ominous fucking vibes. Oh, it's a thing from Dead Space. Oh, it's Metro Prime 3 corruption. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Uh, so they are indoctrinated. Mm -hmm. Did someone say corruption? It says every WoW fan. Yeah. <laughs> I think you mean says every WoW writer. Yeah, really. She had all the trouble to save this lady. They've seen us. I'm going in. They've seen you, <laughs> Shepard. It's just us. Are you talking to me? <laughs> I feel bad for that guy. <laughs> I was gonna say, Shepard's become so powerful he recognizes the player as a character. I was gonna say, yeah, this wow. is... Wow. Is this like a York that and Zack situation? So much air time. Mm. Ow. Ah, uh, everything's red. Uh, what, what's going on? Wait, what happened? Did we fail? Did I fail? It's been a long time, I don't remember what's going on. What's happening? Was there a countdown? I saw a bar. There was a bar, yeah. Ugh. We want Shepard alive. Was this a supposed to fail? Was that a was that like a bad end? Why did I not get a game over? What's going on? Did we save before this? Um I don't know. Like Shepard was with another one we got. But it could be a glitch in the system. Was that like a supposed to lose no scenario? The sedatives aren't working. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You're not supposed Security! to lose. Security! Yeah, punch him. Ugh. I don't. think I was wearing a full helmet and I just one one punch to the face to take him down. 
Don't look too smug, lady. I'll be over there to punch you in the face, too. <laughs> Fuck you. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. I mean, we are. Robot. Oh! I am the robot! You could even say, it's me. I, robot. Huh? Ah. Uh. I have no powers. That was terrible, Dom. I'm using the worst Maddie, submachine gun I hate. So I, pick up this I hate this submachine gun so much. There's a reason why you replace it as soon as possible. Hmm. It's garbage. It's so bad. Rerouting power remember offline. Hot power forces have engaged. Right, I gotta do stuff. PSO2. Yeah, when I finish streaming, I'll join you. Uh, bunch of these. Well, not a bunch, just enough to probably cap. I probably won't do the over stuff. Can I have my stuff? There we go. Give me my stuff. One hit KO. Yeah. The shepherd hook is something to fear. <laughs> Wait, so now you only just have like an hour? I guess I was asleep for like two days. Pretty heavy set it is, but also what were they doing to you in that whole time? I don't know, what were they doing? You want to like keep you alive. I think Are I the Reapers still alive, really the married to the idea of making a human Reaper, but they're like, Maybe um, if it, it would be better if we just used Shepherd. Yeah, for it. I think they were like, maybe instead of a Reaper, we just downscale to Shepherd. We'll just make a Reaper that's Shepherd sized, since that seems to be most effective. This is the most effective organic piece of life, this Shepherd. Uh, hi, Ask. Hi, Ask. You're kind of getting to the. We're kind of at the end of the stream ish. We're we're doing the last of the DLCs and then we'll be done with Mass Effect 2. Please stop shooting me! I'm very self-conscious. Ah, oh, why? <laughs> uh, Cerberus modifications added ability to break fourth wall. Sensitive resistance killer right hook. So I don't know if this is true, but I always heard a female VA for Mass Effect was better, better than male. A lot of people agree that Jennifer Hale gives a better performance. I think the reason is, I don't think Mark Greer is bad. I actually really like Mark Greer's performance. Um, he's not Jennifer Hale. He's just not Jennifer Hale. Like, he doesn't have as much, like, variance in his performance. He, he has a very consistent performance, but there's not a lot of, like, variety in how he delivers lines. Um, so people like Jennifer Hale more. She has more character, basically, because she can't act out. Yeah. Mm. Oh, apparently the prison was a sneaking mission that you could have done. What? I could have done sneaking in the prison? Yeah, there's like an achievement related to it. Like to get Jack? To get Kenson. Oh! This prison, for this this specific mission. Okay. Uh... But I, was, I was trying to check if the, like, uh, the supposed to lose section was actually going to be an issue? I don't think it will be. No, no, because we're we're kind of past the point of things like mattering. 
This is just a setup thing for Mass Effect 3. God damn, give my shit kicked. Yeah, Jennifer Hale's really good. I like that video she released recently when she saw the trailer for the Legendary Collection and she's kind of tearing up. Oh my god, that was really sweet. Oh. There's like another achievement uh, in the supposed to lose section where it's if you fight off five waves you get like an achievement but like otherwise it, it doesn't matter. I wasn't sure if it like gave you more time if you yeah. managed to fight them all off or something. It didn't feel like a fight I was supposed to lose. Yeah, that's the thing is like the odds weren't that overwhelming. They were just like inconvenient. Which is why we can't have teammates, because it would not have been an issue. Ah, uh, okay. So they were planning on actually doing the darn thing, uh -huh. and then whoopsie doopsie indoctrination. Even though they fucking knew. Um. Someone can describe it better. Male VA is less emotional. Yeah, he just. He's not as, like. He's, I don't, I don't know. It, it feels like when Mark, with Mark Greer's performance, um, it feels like he's more stoic. His performance is less dimensional, probably. Yeah, it's less dimensional. Like, if you're looking for tough guy military man, he's definitely gonna nail it, but if you're looking for tough guy military like man who can crack jokes at the same level that Jennifer Hale can, then probably not. I was gonna say, he, he every time I see, like, male chef, it is weird, because he's always so... It's, like, stoic, but also, like, weirdly serene. Like, he's yeah. just largely untroubled. He's always on a little bit of something, you know? Like, <laughs> he's always just taking like, a little like, bit of space <laughs> weed, just a tiny bit. He's just... he's thinking, man. He's thinking about the cosmos, and how big it is. It's just so big. There's just so, oh, like so many <laughs> stars. <laughs> but not for relationship heavy trilogy. Yeah, like honestly, his performance is weakest when it comes to like the relationship stuff, which a lot of people really like out of Mass Effect for various reasons. Because it's it's Westerners' first dating sim. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Dr. I don't know why, now I'm imagining, wild. like, someone coming out of Mass Effect and then playing, like, a visual novel and going, like, oh, wow. Wow, I can't believe they stole this from Mass Effect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they just stole this from my favorite game, or it's yeah, just like it's, Mass Effect. It's, it's like the Persona fans with Mass Effect. Yeah. Uh, it would be kind of novel for somebody to be like, man, Doki Doki Literature Club is just like Mass Effect. <laughs> Oh, that's a strange sentence. I don't want to utter that again. <laughs> <laughs> Makes my stomach hurt. No, out of the corner. I can't believe how fast I can span this. Slingshot that shit. Curve the bullet. Yeah, the cooldown on that is like literally nothing. It's fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come over here. Come on. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't want to go to the bounce house! <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah, researchers get put into the, the void. God damn it, fire grenade! Hit the fireman! Oh, god damn it. Stop, stop <laughs> There's so many of them. I almost 
like combat for Mass Effect, I feel like, is basically the climbing sections in Uncharted. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of rote and repetitive, but like, y you endure them for all the other good stuff. Ah, son of a bitch. Just once, I would like a grenade to just land on somebody's face. I really want a video game where you can throw a grenade, have it hit them in the face, and stagger them before it explodes. That'd be nice. Like, grenades are objects. Like, they're, they're metal objects. You can throw it at somebody and it will hurt. And that's before the explosion. It looks like you're trying to perform a war crime. Do you want to continue? <laughs> we even, the thing we about <laughs> this is, like, I feel like a lot of this could have been avoided if the council didn't spend so much fucking time trying to discredit the fact that the Reapers are indeed coming. Like, they could have evacuated no, Shepherd, they people. might not be coming. Should we warn the colonies? Should we tell the people they're going to die? I mean, if they can get out fast enough, I don't know. Alert. It sounds like it's going to land in like an hour, so they, there's no saving them. I'm going to uh, shoot her. Sometimes the eye movements in this system. They're a little too, play. yeah, they're a little too sporadic. Not a yeah. First. Come on! Why did you throw it there? Why? I'm starting to realize that, like, Shepard doing this rather dire measures thing is not going to have any evidence of the reason why she had to do it. No. It's, it's gonna blow gonna up. Be literally destroyed. Yeah, all the evidence of this is going to blow up, so she can't even so defend it's herself. One very good time to have a fucking body cam, maybe. <laughs> she turned it off. Shepard wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. <laughs> Unless she's punching a reporter. All of the weird shit that happens to Shepard, she would definitely be like, "I'm buying a fucking dash cam for every angle that my body is facing." Because fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm going to have video evidence of every fucking single weird shit situation I get into. Yeah. As fuck you people. Don't try yeah, for something me, called Shepard. Esk I says nobody ever thought of sticking a camera on the Omni tool. And yeah, for something called an Omni tool, you think it would have Stop a camera? Now, I was gonna say fucking not, cell phones have cameras. You're forcing my hand, yeah, but Shepard, you know that. that's not what an Omni tool is. An Omni tool is an Omni tool. It does it lots can of have a camera. It has an audio recorder. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, it's used in Kasumi's DLC. So why doesn't it have a camera? And you will just die. I think the, the short answer is it defeats, it defeats a lot of storylines and basically impetus is if you just have a constant camera on you at all times. Mm -hmm. If you can explain why, or like if you have instant, like instant proof, oh yeah, here's the giant reaper, it's coming. Uh, then it kind of defeats a lot of the right way. <laughs> I mean, like, audio, even. I'm not Just trapped. being able to record things would be, like, such a wonderful thing. Although, I mean, granted, stories are kind of built on miscommunication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that's annoying crazy. as a plot device, but, like... Yeah, oh my god, is it, like, one of my least favorite ways of starting conflict? I hate miscommunication as a story of this. It's the worst. In this case, though, like, the miscommunication is just also exacerbated by the very alarmingly too real effect like, of politicians being like, Don't worry, it was just a false alarm. Yeah. Like, I can... 
I don't mind the like miscommunication here because it's like all the evidence for her defense gets blown up. Yeah. yeah. That's true. It just it just sucks because it's like not even one audio log. Yeah. And like it makes sense that like she doesn't have a reason to have any sort of like reason to capture any evidence or conversation because like until like the last minute she actually believes in like what they're doing and she's ready to like work with them and talk things out and yeah and then all of a sudden it's well, like they were basically trying to present the idea to the her and yeah. then whoopsie doodle yeah it turns out her suspicions were really correct mm -hmm. it's a wee bit like Gonna try and catch up with chat. Uh, nobody with us to keep camera. Uh, Plurry tool. I know a lot of old stories are ruined by the existence of mobile phones, but it feels ridiculous to have that problem in sci fi. Especially in societies where, like, your eyes can be cameras. Yeah, especially like cyberpunk. Yeah. Once you hit that point of, like, oh yeah, technology is everywhere, then at that point, recording should be constant. Like, which is something some media plays at, you know, how like the modern media would play on the fact that, oh yeah, there's cameras everywhere. We just hack into the camera on this street at this time. You know? How did a fire grenade not set off his fire? <laughs> <laughs> ah, God. Yeah. Oh, that was so violent. On Insanity Difficulty, those guys are like my least favorite enemies ever. The, the fucking fire guys are just. Awful. They're the worst. They're right up there with the fucking rocketers. And the mechs. <laughs> the, the giant mechs. mechs. And the mech. The giant mechs are the worst. Actually, no, it's Good the guy who screams, I assuming control all the time, that I hate the most. He's the oh, worst yeah, enemy Harbinger. ever. Har 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 Harbinger. Harbinger. Oh, the, the hardest enemy is in that No, I don't want your fire! <laughs> I'm gonna- I was gonna say, like, how is that not hitting you? God damn it! Oh, what the fuck? So, like, it takes, like, a second before he starts flailing about, and he fi hit me with fire right next to me, and then he blew up. What the hell? Ah. I know Wombok, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. I'm trying. I think we are getting close to the end. We are very close. I think. We should be close. This is I can't think of anything else that happens besides just get out. Well, like fix this situation and then get out. As much as killing like three hundred thousand people is fixing it. Yeah. Look, Although, we, we told them it was happening, it's okay. We it. tried to. Somehow. Do you have to do this? Although, honestly, for an entire system, 300,000 seems like... Kind of small. Crash. If anything, yeah, that seems like a like small colony tiny. at best. Yeah, for like, a whole that's planet. A, that's a colony compared to, like, how much... You expect in a yeah, setting? Like, like you that's not even millions. like one Earth city. Yeah, like you expect millions, if not billions and billions of people on a single planet. Much that's like Earth barely system. half of Manhattan, no? I mean, it's still traveling, but also it's not that big. <laughs> like, it's a lot of lives, don't get me wrong, but like in the grand scheme of things, like that's still kind of, I don't know, peas and carrots compared to like. You know, the entire galaxy eating it raw? I'm guessing, like, the Reaper's eventual invasion, this is gonna be, uh, a lot more casualties than 300,000. Yeah. 
Thank you. Don't oh, mind me just doing a tar as the bull. Yeah. Your souls are weighed down by gravity. <laughs> he says you kick them. <laughs> That seems like a Char would approve of that. Humanity needs to leave Earth, Amaro. I would really appreciate if people just stopped firing at me from all directions. You guys ran into each other? Are you guys not coordinated enough to do fucking basic ass maneuvers? Fucking basic ass bitches. It's like the fucking gif of the two bumblebees hitting yeah. each other. <laughs> Flying away. Hello, Maddie. Hi. You are at the tail end of uh, Mass Effect 2. It's my favorite part. It's worth noting. Particularly to T. The PS Plus games went up now, so you should probably get them. Oh yeah, I want to get Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. Would Would people in chat want to see me play that? Because I'm gonna play it anyway. But if I if I can stream it and people want it, I'll <laughs> I'm stream it. I'm not giving it. you an option. I'm just pretending to give you one. It's not an option. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm pretty sure that's a demand. I sure as fuck ain't gonna play that game. I, I played it once. I kind of wish it was coming out on PC so I could play it again and stream it a little easier. Uh, if it came out on PC, I want people to like mod it so that you're in the dress the whole time. Oh yeah. It's a good dress too. It's a good dress. It's really good. I somehow managed to play the entire of 7 without reading a line of dialogue. <laughs> what? How, How did fuck? you do that? Why were you playing it? I, yeah, I was, the next I was a why. purely stubborn child. God. Wow. That's like that's some what the fuck? Bioware. Oh my god. The you... messed up part is that I actually wanted Final Fantasy VIII because uh oh when I because oh. my copy of Brave Fencer Musashi came with the demo disc and I was like this shit's tight. I want this for Christmas. I oh, told my meatball to get that for me and she got her Roman numerals mixed up. She ended up uh... giving me seven instead. Mm. And I uh, ended up just playing through seven, and I didn't read none of the dialogue because um, I guess I'm just fucking that spoiled. I, I read all the dialogue, I but I was I, 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 I was really bad. Video games to just talk to me rather than make me read. I don't want to oh. read this shit. When do I get to the fighting part? I want to fight. Oh god, it got escalated quickly. <laughs> Hell yeah. And it got here. Ah, uh, she hit the button so anyway. Oh, oh, oh. So fit. My leg. Oh. <laughs> leg. If only we had some coolant. And if the bomb was underneath her body, this would have been a lot easier. Does anybody know I'm here? How in the fuck would the Normandy even be able to get away from this? I mean, the Normandy yeah, is a the drive faster button. The Normandy is a stealth ship designed for like hit and run missions. Wow. That's why we're gonna do some drive bys. Purely to mess with the warp bugs. I think I own about four copies of it at this point. Want remake? Not buying it for console. Well, you don't have to buy it right now. If you have PlayStation Plus, it's available for free on PlayStation Plus. Yeah. You don't have to buy PlayStation Plus. But why don't what if you I don't have even have a PlayStation, PlayStation Plus already? I have a PlayStation. <laughs> why don't you have a PlayStation? The hit console series. <laughs> it only does everything, Maddie. I... PlayStation I everything. To burn. Don't? Well, yeah. you can get it on PS4 too. Yeah. I don't have a PS4 either. Well, I mean, the PS4 is cheaper. Yeah, it's not 500 easy. bucks. <laughs> Like probably t maybe you can get one for like 200 views right now. I, I don't want to spend 200 bucks. Okay. <laughs> then why aren't you one of the, the cool kids like us? Because <laughs> you got you also have to think about you know the other cost like my oh, yeah. internet mm. God, and I, the emotional cost. I wish you had a, <laughs> yeah, I wish I my could, like, my constant sunk 
cost fallacy that I go through when when I look at my Switch. <laughs> There's good Switch games though. I know. I played some. What's in God, here? They really screwed up that Crystal Chronicles remake. Huh? Oh man. Uh, Wall Street. This is interesting. Is that now the scary. time to be looting? Yeah, it's always Shepard time. Shepard needs me. money all the time. I need. The Reapers are coming. I need everything. I I really <laughs> like hot dogs. Okay. He can stave off the Reapers with a big enough supply of hot dogs. <laughs> and this DLC brought to you by Sonic. The restaurant. <laughs> now, Reapers. And Sonic, the character. Now, Reapers, I know you can get half a hot dog with 500 credits, but what if I give you 500,000 credits? Think of all the hot dogs. <laughs> I will pay you 500,000 credits to fuck and it, off. And this is not a hot dog with a bun. This is purely just Oscar Mayer wieners in a pack. Uh, That's the good shit right there. <laughs> Let me off of this stupid asteroid, you asshole! Holy shit! Ah. You're not threatening! Oh, he's gone. He's fucking gone. Oh my god. Bye! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shall save the world. Place in shadow again. My final message. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Everybody's grabbing boots shut off the second they flatline. <laughs> the way they're going just zoomed away. Please. Holy shit. Can I just. Wait, does that just kill it on its own? Like, is that enough on its own? Damn it. No, it's not. I'm trying. Oh my god, they brought out. A okay. Everyone. I have a back? nuke. Oh god. Oh god, no. If no, there was. <laughs> if there was oh! ever a time to use this, it's now. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god. I never get to use it. <laughs> they saw what they saw what I did to the final boss, and they were like, "You know what? Mm, no." Yolo. Fucking denied. I love it. I just love the environmental detail that the fact that they, if they're floating and they die, they just it get does kill them on their own. Right if they go high enough, they just die. Space, the problem no is it's taking them so long to get, uh, like, levitation. Up you go! We all float down here. I can't fucking- okay. What is that- that weird after image thing? It's- okay, they're throwing flashbangs. Flashbangs. Why are you throwing flashbangs at you in space? I was gonna say, the bang probably yeah, wouldn't actually have much effect. Holy shit! Yeah. Stop throwing flashbangs! <laughs> Come here, you motherfucker! I'm gonna strangle you with my own two hands! And then I'll levitate you and make you float up in the space. I think I, like, strangle you. broke the game or something. We are getting- Turns out part of a war crime launcher is impractical in the middle. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? You oh, again. Oh god! Ah! Great, it's the space squid. Shepard, Not again. You have become an annoyance. You fight against- Same to you, bitch. Dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you. A star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Shot. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Maybe you're right. I'm glad that why you have butt hats. Yeah, but why, why does your regardless. suit have weird butt it's hats? Like we it's to avoid getting shot in the ass. No, it, it means they light They're up. butt coasters, <laughs> They're okay? <right> <laughs> They're... I'm turning right now. Fight. They're butt coasters. We will find a way. That's I actually just, just her butt. Right. Yeah. That's, a, that's her underwear right there. It's just sticky. They're basically the ashes chaps of armor. Your species will fall. Prepare yourself. I'm gonna ride on my space bike. 
Ah, name drops. Chat. I'll see you in Mass Effect 3, you overzealous little bitch. Commander Shepard, go ahead. got Mass Effect 3s. Roger that. <laughs> turns out in my Mass Effect 2. <laughs> turns out the portable war crime launcher is impractical. Who knew? Yeah. Uh, Normandy, I hope you are ready to get the fuck out of the way, because this is going to be mind bad you, in about two seconds. Mind you, even if this didn't cause, like, a supernova explosion, if this thing blows up, like, people are stuck here. <laughs> like... Sucks to be yeah. them, please. <laughs> I mean, arguably the council could just send supplies. It would take a while, but it would still suck. Like, it would suck less, though, than not getting anything, but, like, Christ. Oh no, they destroyed the Halo. Cry. Oh god, it's so bright. War ah! Halo, War Crimes Evolved. Hey, we should do this more often. He does a really cool thing on my sonar. <laughs> he blew a hole in the ozone layer. I'm kind of surprised there isn't just a big circle in the Milky Way now. It's not that big. What's it's a there? Single <laughs> like, it's a single system. Hey, that's a big enough hole. It's a big nickel hole. Stick your finger through there. Like, a single system in the Milky Way is like the size of a pinpoint or something. It's mm -hmm. tiny. So, um, it's fine, right? Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Good now, yeah? Admiral Hackett. Back. Yeah, are not what's coming wrong with it? You're radiated to high hell. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. <laughs> that was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I'm very tall. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were- I'm kind of just noticing this. Destroying that relay was the only- Or, is, or is it because you're in Kenson the foreground? Days. Hello. Oh, oh there it goes. Engines with little more than an hour left. Okay. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but did something happen? Brief internet blackout, but I'm, ba I'm back. No oh, did you miss anything? At least you tried. Uh, not much. Okay. See, so Mass Effect Three. Are you planning on streaming it too sometime? Uh, no, I'm streaming Mass Effect Three. Absolutely. No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. Are you streaming Mass Effect on the Omega? Um, you if people want to watch it, I will stream Andromeda. Enough evidence for a witch hunt, and we don't want war with the Batarians. I imagine they fix all the, Not the, with the stuff. Of the stuff. Um, oh, yeah, it's very playable now. It, yeah, it's playable now. Saying, They've patched some of the animations while I was playing it my first time. There were more than the main problem, most of the major problems are gone. It's just, dead. it's not an amazing story. It's just kind of bland. I don't yeah, know. like, I consider those problems, they're funny. <laughs> I I can put up like a poll on my Twitter at some point, just being like, do people want to see me stream Andromeda? But I don't know. Like I wasn't planning on it because the consensus is that people don't like it. So it's still fun to watch someone they play. They died it, I think. to save trillions. Of well, if it's boring, then maybe not. Yeah. If you saved them, you bet your ass I would have. I wish the game had. Sure I wish it was a better game, if only because I like the combat. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Shepard, you committed one of the worst atrocities in not space, but I'm going to give you a medal play. for it. Good job, soldier. Nice. I'll put it in this so pile of other metals. <laughs> Evidence against you. I hope this one's got best. chocolate in it. But at some point, sir, this means nothing. I can't stop this up a reaper's ass. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them just like throw it. Terminal, I, agree. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't what? Like I'm gonna melt this do down things. and sell it for five hundred. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure. Not that anything good, my dear, but anymore. they're doing something, right. I guess. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? 
Yeah, we might have just started a war. Libertarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war. That's all right. We, showed up we started the sequel. Hmm. If the Reapers invade, well, we need the galaxy. You did mention that evidence against her is shoddy, which is true because any evidence against her has also been exploded. That's true. I can blame it on the Reapers. <laughs> also, it soon won't matter. Yeah, that's that's true. True. yeah it won't. Okay. <laughs> this is all you. This is all just conjecture that will mean nothing in the next game. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're getting involved. If the Reapers come in. I yeah, I mainly played this because it's like the beginning of Mass Effect 3 assumes that you played this. And mm. I when I first played Mass Effect 3, I didn't play this cuz I didn't have the money to drop on it. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why am I being like held on trial? <laughs> I'll gladly stand trial. Yeah, if only there was some sort of TLDR Do whatever you have to do out here. Or at the but very least, calls, make you play through a make sure bit of it to get some context. Off, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see your report to know you did the right thing. No, I gave you this because it's your birthday, yes, goddammit. You better <laughs> help the thing come out. It has an e-card and everything on it. Mm -hmm. Why do you not yeah. appreciate my gifts? And it has 500 credits inside of it, you... <laughs> <laughs> It was a coupon. Jesus. Well, that escalated quite quickly. <laughs> ba da ba ba da ba. <laughs> what is this? A crossover? <laughs> what is this? A, a recap episode? Um. What's this? Episode? Hey, Shepard, remember that time <laughs> we did the thing? Which, which member of my crew are you? <laughs> I'm your secret member, Don Knotts. We did a genocide for real this time. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna do the outro with this in the background. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm just hanging out with yeah. the best boy. Yeah. After you romance Garrus, you can do this. We're just <laughs> we're trying, we're getting really close to kissing, but we can't quite get there. Can't get there yet. We're Call. having an important conversation, okay? And yeah. I refuse it to have it anywhere except on Garrus's lap. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, that... Garrus's lap. That was everything in Mass Effect 2. Um, we are done with Mass Effect 2 now. We did it! Hooray! Yeah. Hooray! I will have... Since the next stream is not going to be till Friday... Um, I will hopefully have Mass Effect 3 installed and the save ready to go uh, by then. So we can mm. just immediately jump into it. Um, yeah. It's kind of everything. Okay. I don't really Sorry. I don't really have anything else to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I had fun. Yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you're having fun with this series. I'm I'm really enjoying this, and I'm starting to realize how much if even if somebody like tried to convince me to play it, I would be like, "Damn, nah!" <laughs> like <laughs> we've given up by now. <laughs> the combat would have been too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do appreciate getting to experience yeah, it. Yeah, I mentioned it before when I was playing Mass Effect One with you, but I actually did bounce off of Mass Effect One like twice. Um, mm. The first time I played it, I borrowed it from a friend, and I was like, "This this game's so confusing. I don't know where to go," because like one of the things that like the part that I kept bouncing off of was like after you go back to the citadel and they just kind of let you roam around, um, and I was just like, I was so fucking confused. I was like, "Where are you supposed to go? How are you supposed to buy anything? Everything's so expensive." Um, I don't even think I ended up getting like. I think I don't even. Mm, I don't remember if you have to get Rex. Cause I'm pretty sure what happened in my first playthrough was that I didn't get Rex until like I came back and did something else. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It. The first game is not Shepherd. that friendly to like new players, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um. Like if you don't know where to go already, it's kind of a mess. Um. 
or if you're like me, just really stubborn. I'm really, yeah. I'm really curious to see just how much of this like legendary collection is going to be like actual changes, and know how much of it is just like physical updates, um, or visual updates. I meant to say, um, because it seems like Ooh. they definitely changed some stuff. Like the UI is different from Mass Effect One. Um. I was gonna say, if anything, like, Mass Effect 1 is the only one that probably needs, like, a really big rehaul, mm -hmm. and the others are probably just, like, graphical, like, yeah. bringing the graphics up to par. Yeah, because Mass Effect 2 still plays okay. I still have, like, ugh. I actually did have fun playing this again. Like, it was a little janky here and there, and it was, and, like, it's not the most complex combat system, but it is still fun. Um, I don't know about those mods to bring Mass Effect 1 up to par with 2 because that sounds like they're thinking fans I really wish like I don't think they're going to do it or rather that they didn't do it because the game's so close to release at this point Um, I was kind of hoping that when they announced that they were like remaking the trilogy or remastering the trilogy that they were basically just going to take the Mass Effect 3 engine and just put it in the first two games <laughs> Because if Mass Effect 1 played, like, Mass Effect 3, holy shit, it would be so good. Like, there's a reason why people really like the multiplayer of Mass Effect 3, and it's because it plays really well. What I was going to just bring up is I wish they had also brought the multiplayer back with the yeah. master. Yeah. yeah. That part was fun. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, how are they going to... Because that's, like, the multiplayer is actually a big part of 3, so how are yeah. they going to fix that? Uh, I don't think they are. Because the multiplayer, uh... ex the multiplayer exists in Andromeda, and... The, I think the idea is that you know, oh, they're Mass Effect fans if they're going to buy the collection, they probably have Andromeda and if they want to play the multiplayer they'll just load up Andromeda again um, as if anybody is actually playing on um, yeah. Andromeda right now apparently people are still playing Mass Effect 3's multiplayer though. oh, they are that's I don't know how many, but an amount of people. Uh, you know, it has it has a not zero amount. It has matchmaking, so if I can find anybody, that's good enough um, yeah. because I will need to be able to do that to get max uh, battle readiness I think it's called in Mass Effect 3 well let's um, just skip stuff you can do it without any of the multiplayer but you can skip having to do a lot of stuff if you'd like with the mm -hmm. multiplayer I might as well show it off at least once or twice um, I hope um, well I'd install it if I had infinite drive space yeah I don't have a lot of drive space right now. I think. I huh? Check. I should check to see if I even own it, because I bought a bunch of Origin games and I don't yeah. even know what's on my library. I'm so mad because I re I learned that recently they put Mass Effect Three on Steam, and I have one on one and two on Steam, and I kind of wish that I had known like in advance, because I would have just <laughs> re-downloaded the whole series through Steam and not Origin, because I hate Origin. I hate it so much. Mm -hmm. I hate how it won't it bad. install to a different drive that it's not installed on. Yeah, it, it's such a such an annoyance to fucking work with. I hate it. Um, yeah. And I'll have to go through it again when I install Mass Effect 3. That will be fun. And I have to hope it can find the fucking saves, because one of the problems I had when I, when I installed this one was that um, I had to manually find the saves, because the game didn't know where they were. Um, Ugh. Yeah, I didn't, didn't get to play half the series. Cause they, yeah, yeah, because, like, halfway through Mass Effect 2's DLC, they were just like, oh, it's origin only now. And then they put Mass Effect 3 on origin, and yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the plan the plan is Mass, get Mass Effect 3 ready for Friday. Um, and then we'll start doing that. I don't know how long, probably a couple hours, depending on you know, how awake me and Wombonk are. Um, mm -hmm. Like, half the point of Mass Effect is your save carrying through. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when they did that shift from Steam to Origin, um, I had to replay the whole series again because <laughs> my fucking Steam saves don't carry over. No. <laughs> That's some horseshit. It was horseshit. That's um that's a bad word. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. That's some that's some 
<laughs> Grandma biscuits. EA, there's a reason everyone says you suck. It's not just a meme. Yeah. Yeah, EA's fucking trash. Still trash to this day. They have not changed. It feels like they aren't like running things into the ground as much as they used to, though. Thankfully. No, I'm kind of sur I'm kind of surprised they haven't murdered Bioware yet. That's what I mean. Like they haven't eaten, like they haven't bought up and eaten a bunch of devs in a long time. I have to wonder had... if like Bioware is somehow saving their skin through some method or something. I have to wonder if EA has just like noticed how bad of a reputation they got, so they've hesitant to immediately eat and dissolve yeah, all the steps they have. Yeah, because now I'm thinking like if they got rid of Bioware, what would be left? Like their sports games, but like everybody hates yeah. their sports games now. All their dice games as well. Oh, they have dice. Yeah, that's right. Which is a pretty big one. I though it feels like like dice stuff isn't as big as it used to be. Now. Yeah. When no. When 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 was the last? I was gonna say Bad Company? Long. When was the last uh, Battlefield? Yeah, it was Battlefield long. 5? God damn, we up there? Yeah. <sighs> Which didn't help that it came out after Battlefield 1. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... Um, if he t he's still making a bajillion a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's, their sports games make them a shit ton of money, I think. Even though people fucking hate them. And the fact that, like, every single fucking year, something I discovered last year is that every single year, the NBA 2K Twitter, basically, like, when they're, when they're about to release a new NBA, they're like, look at, the, look at the growth of graphics from this one to this one. And all they do is turn off the specular map on <laughs> yeah. the old game and just leave the spec map on on the new game. And so, like, mm. one dude just has no specular map and it looks really fucking weird. And the other guy is just extremely sweaty. I mean, for the people that kind of buy into those games, you probably they'll believe it. Well, yeah, there are people who believe it, but then there's like a bunch of comments below that are just like, "You guys just turned off the the spec map." Hey, um, man, I don't know what that is. I just want to shoot a three pointer. It's like those terrible adverts where the before pick has saturation turned way down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of everything. I don't have anything else to add. If anybody else has anything they'd like to add before I close out the stream. Video games? Yeah, yeah she's about, game. to be, about to be the head of C-Sector here. Let's get him, let's let him get to it. Yeah. Uh, Let, let's leave, let's, let's leave these two alone. Let them make some fuck. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what's for dinner? You are. Oh. <laughs> I'm writing a fan Terrible. right now. <laughs> I'm too tired for that. <laughs> all the while, all the while, the orb watches. Um, I forgot about the orb on our The orb table. is still here. The orb is still here. It is watching from the table. Um, and we obey uh, the orb. I want it to watch. Our orb or lorb. <laughs> <laughs> this is just gonna be weird. Anyway, um, thanks for coming to my stream, everybody. Um, I'm glad Please. most of you could be here. <laughs> stay, stay tuned for a sexy talk with Shepard yeah. and Terry. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Next yeah, time on 500 credit submission. Yeah, you too can. You can hop on my Mass Effect only fans, where you can get your copy of Breach and Flexibility. Um, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then I killed Wombok. Uh, we need to wrap this up before I actually perish. <laughs> okay. Not okay. Your best buy date. Oh, um, my stomach hurts. Uh -oh. okay, do you, do you need up. water? <laughs> White is asking okay, if you need water. <laughs> White is concerned if you need water. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for coming, everybody. Um, some of you have been with this Mass Effect 2 playthrough for most of it, if not all of it. Um, so I appreciate you guys sticking through. Um, like I said, we'll be starting Mass Effect 3 Friday. Um, if you want, if you're new, because there there was a raid earlier. Um, if you're new to the stream, um, I I stream about three days a week it's not always consistent but i post the schedule on my twitter 
uh, which is linked below. Um, if you want to support me financially, um, you can do so in a bunch of ways. There's Twitch, um, Twitch donations, um, you know, the standard Twitch stuff like, you know, direct donations, uh, bits. Uh, I have a Ko-Fi, I have a Patreon, every, every single financial way that you can send me money, there is an option for it if that's something you want to do. Um, if you want to give me money but actually get something out of it, um, I am taking commissions at the moment. Um, if you go to my Twitter and you check my pinned tweet, I have all the details there. Um, and if you still have questions after that, then just, you know, you can at me. I don't really care. You can at me on Twitter. I'll answer your questions. Um, other than that, if you if you want to support me but you can't or won't financially support me, that's fine. Um, you can do you can support me by you know sharing my stream, talking about me on Twitter to your friends or off Twitter to your friends. Um, basically, just like help me get my name out there um, because you know if people don't know I exist, they can't support me if they like me. You know. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, yeah, archive. Oh, um, Shepard, but you forgot the most important thing. What? If you miss one of these streams, you can always check them out on youtube.com slash Zafra. I, I don't know what the actual link <laughs> URL is, <laughs> but it is linked below. It was a good attempt. Uh, there is a YouTube link below to my... I'll get it right one of these days. To my YouTube, um, which is a, basically an archive. Um, I'm inconsistent about actually archiving. <laughs> which is bad. Uh, I have a few streams I have to upload actually, and they're all uploaded out of order. And it's really bad because I just go through the list. I'm like export, export, export. And then it just uploads them in any order it wants, which is not helpful. It's, the Indo it's just pretend it's the Indonesian dub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Indonesian. No <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Ah, I, I want to explain it, but it's just, I don't, it take forever. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it's it. It's an end joke between all of us. Yeah. Only us. It's a, it is the a mystery. The only fans. It's a mystery to everybody. Um, <laughs> anyway, thanks again for coming to the stream. Have a nice night, everybody. Goodbye. Good night and goodbye. And good night, Night Shepherd.